Hey and hello there everyone! Welcome, welcome, welcome to our first episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD on the Wii U. Um, I, I'm so happy to see so many of you here. Um, I got a lot of lovely replies throughout the week of people being excited about this series. It made me really, really happy to see so many of you like pumped for this series. I'm really excited to dive into a Zelda game on stream because uh, I love the Zelda series. Um, so I'll just wait a minute for people to uh, come in, let those adverts roll, all that stuff, before we click the start button. Uh, but yes, we've booted up the Wii U. We are on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD on the Wii U. I have never played this version before. I grew up with the GameCube version when I was a kid, and that is the only version I have ever played. I've played it through a few times, but we'll get into that later. But but let's say hi to a load of people, because there's a load of you guys here. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, so Cappy Draw, hello. Tenchi, hi. Zander, hello. Itorio, hello. Kevin, hello. Um, Ileana, I, I, okay, I, had, I was like, wait, have I said hi to Ileana? No, but you're getting said hello to twice now. Hello, Ileana. Hi, Ileana. Um, and Salty, hi. And Lexi, hello. And Christine, hello. And Nicola, hello. And Jelly, hello. And I, did I say hi to Xander and Kramen? Hi, mods. Um, so hi, everyone. Hey, and oh, and Satella, hello. Hi, 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 everyone. Hi. So I'm very excited to see a whole bunch of you here. Um, Ileana, the first and only Zelda game you played was Majora's Mask 3D. Ooh, very, that's very interesting to have as your only Zelda experience. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed The Wind Waker here today. It's a really fun game. Um, but yeah, I'm just holding off getting started as well, just because as soon as I hit that start button, we're going to be getting into silly voice acting stuff. Because yeah, the, this, is, this is a game with characters and dialogue. And that means that I am legally obligated as a voice actor to um to read them out loud for you all um so yes maria hello um so before we get started as well uh first episodes of new series are very very important for the algorithm um so if you haven't already hit that like button that little thumbs up button tap it click it whatever device you're on um i would so hugely appreciate that i saw a load of you guys already had before we even started the stream uh so thank you for pre already presuming uh that this is going to be a very good and entertaining stream but now that you're here if you're finding this entertaining and you're looking forward to it and you're excited and you're pumped um please 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 hit that like button and i will try and rem remember to say this throughout the stream because i've been rubbish at it but that one super mario sunshine episode where i like joked and i said it like every five minutes it actually did get like way more likes than average so i really do have to remember to do that uh, and i have to remember to thank the mods more as well because i do not do that enough uh, so thank you zander thank you Kramen, and archie wherever you are uh because i haven't seen you today um Thank you as well. And I mean, technically Michelle is a mod, but I don't really kind of think of Michelle as a mod. Like that was just kind of like a thing I did for the first stream. And same with Jen Lucy as well. Um, okay. So, um, and yes, subscribe. Yeah. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I know a load of you guys are subscribed, but if you subscribe and you uh, ring the bell, that means that if we ever change day or change time, or if there are like time zone differences or whatever, then you don't miss out. Um, so, um, I think uh, we, we look like we're settled in. Ding, 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 ding. Um, I think, yeah, it looks like we're all getting settled in. So let's begin. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Now, um, if you uh, have not played... Two quick other things. Uh, one, it has been a long time since I played this game. So I, I do have a no backseat gaming rule. But also as well, like, I also don't want to be one of those people who's so stubborn that I just wander around aimlessly for a while. So if I do, like, forget anything or whatever, we'll have, like, a three-tiered system of advice and help. The first is, like, the red light, don't backseat game, the default. The amber light is the kind of where I'll kind of be like, okay, give me, like, a bit of a, a hint kind of thing. Like, it might be something where I'm like, okay, I feel like I need to use this item am I right in thinking that? Or am I in the right place? Or am I like sort of, I think we need to go to this place. Is that right? And then you guys can, you know, if you like know the answer and you're screaming at your computer, that is the time where you can kind of be like, yes, your idea is correct. Or you can confirm my ideas or you can kind of nudge me without specifically telling me. But that's only if it's invited and asked for. And then there'll just be the flat out, I cannot remember how to beat this. Tell me where to go. And then you can go all out with your suggestions and advice. Because I know what it's like watching someone struggle with a game. Um, like the jankiness in Super Mario Sunshine. Um, the other thing as well is just if you are new to Zelda and you don't know Zelda, 
please do not worry. I will try and guide you through. And if uh, and and if there's anything I don't say or that you feel like is helpful to say to chat, you know, to help explain things for those who are not familiar with Zelda, uh, we can get into that as well. But there's like a whole technical like Zelda timeline. But honestly, I kind of ignore it. For me, I kind of think of each Zelda game, unless it is a direct sequel, the way that Majora's Mask is a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time and Tears of the Kingdom is a di direct uh, sequel to Breath of the Wild. Um, I... I kind of think of different Zelda games as like kind of almost happening in, in different worlds and stuff. And although it may kind of loosely refer to a previous game, I like the idea of it's like kind of, well, in this world, a sort of Wind Waker style thing happened. And then this is now Twilight Princess or whatever kind of thing. That's Rather than being like, oh, I think this is kind of like a sequel, to, like a very, very belated sequel to Wind Waker. It's like, or like this game, I think technically is like a sequel to Ocarina of Time, but I don't really think of it that way. I always think of it like a bunch of Ocarina of Time like events happened in this universe. That's the way I think of it. Let me know what you think. Um, so, okay. Um, so let me know um what even is a zelda that's a good point so zelda is a little boy who wears green no i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> so um so let's yeah let's so basically the beginning of this game is going to begin with a little sort of like a backstory of like the setting of this world and basically the story it tells is kind of like a bit of like an ocarina of time-esque story but i again i don't specifically think of it as like oh this is explaining the events of ocarina of time that's kind of the way i think of it so um so yeah uh right let's get into things legend of zelda the wind waker let us go. Wait, that's Mario. Um, 24 hours remain. No, that's Majora's Mask. Okay, let's do this thing. Uh, so we're going to switch. So you're going to be looking at the me screen. And yeah, I've never played this version before. So I'm excited to find out the differences, to see how it handles, to see how it looks. Um, very excited. So here we go. But yeah, so there's going to be a lot, some narration to begin with. Ooh, I've got to remember to not to mash the start button, though. Uh, Princess Link and her boyfriend Zelda. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, so, yes, Cappy Draw. Let's sail. Okay. Oh, hang on. Wait, no, we're not. Um, d does the um, monologue play? Does, I, oh, cr okay. Question for chat. Does the monologue play if I just leave the button? Or does it, does it play when I start a new file? I think it does play when I start a new file, right? Like, if I start a new file, the little monologue pre-story thing where you, like, has, like, sort of a bunch of narration. Oh, I love this music as well, by the way. Um, I'm, and I'm talking all over it. Um, but I think if I just go into a save file, it will have that introductory opening thing. Um, so I don't... I think we won't leave this too long. Um, unless... No, I'm, I'm going to give this a go. If something goes wrong and we don't get the um oh cool we get a choice i do not have a wii u pro controller so we'll be using the gamepad um quest log one so we'll select file number one because i'm boring and i do that now there are three ways that you can name your character in a legend of zelda game or at least the ones where you can name your character because in breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom you're just called link and that's it so way number one is you can name your character uh link we well, can call him lick if you like but uh but you can call him link um, although back in the day, uh, you, they used to have like a keyboard on the screen and it would kind of show like all the capital letters and I didn't really realize as a kid, um, you, you can also name your character after yourself. So I would, for goodness sake, Bo, um, you, so you can type Bo, uh, but like I was just about to say, back on the GameCube days, there would be a keyboard on screen and it would just kind of like have, um... It would only have the capital letters, and I never really realized you could, like, flip forward between capital and non-capital. Uh, so I would just do everything in capital letters in a lot of old games. So rather than Bo, I'd be Bo! Um, so it'd be like, hello there, Bo! Um, every time a character talks to you. Uh, <laughs> Lank, Lonk, Kronk, um, Blink. Um, so um, so, that, so you can call yourself Link, you can call yourself your own name. Or you can be funny and call yourself some kind of silly name. Um, I want to try something, though. Ah, oh, there's not enough cat. Oh, well, hang on. There might be enough. Okay. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, apparently eight letters is the character limit. But, um... But, yes. Um, oh, dang, we could have we called ourselves Kronk. <laughs> but, um... 
But let's call ourselves It's Wood 2000. Well, it, sorry, I, I always call you. Why do I call you Itwood 2007? I always call you Itwood. You're not late. No, we're just naming our character. Um, so don't worry. We haven't even seen that read the monologue yet or anything. But let's go with Toon Link. Uh, but yeah, or the third thing you can. Um, or you can call yourself a funny name. I do have a funnier name than this, but I want to save it for, like, if I do an Ocarina of Time playthrough. Um, I do have a very funny name if I ever do an Ocarina of Time playthrough. So, um, but yeah, so let's call ourselves Toon Link. Because um, that's mildly amusing. Um, it's not hilarious, it's not funny, but it's mildly amusing. Um, normal mode... And then, oh, there's hero mode. You take double damage, and you won't be given any recovery hearts. This mode is only for the truest of heroes. I'm switching to normal mode. Um, I am not a true hero. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, Bark. Um, so let's get into things. Um, man, that Toon Link is going to look so stupid throughout the whole playthrough. But that's the point, because we're being silly. Um, so let's get into things. Um, so here we go. So, this is but one of the legends of which the people speak. I might have to speak kind of quickly throughout this, because I don't know what pace this thing is going to begin. But anyway, enjoy the music and the atmosphere. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. Oh, this takes me back. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength as, its, as his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land a light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Dramatic pause. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. He was busy playing the Bonchu game. Uh, no, I don't know. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. This music's great, man. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to grab boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. And there we go. Yes, I, I know, sorry, I'm... 
Kramen, you're right. It's Zelda. Like, what? It's Zelda. It's Zelda. Uh, <laughs> here we go. This is Outset Island. A lovely little uh, mini Australia of kinds. A, an island set in the southeast of the world. Um, Oi! Love it. Big brother! Here's a little girl. What a, Charlie, hello. Big brother. Oh no, Toon Link be sleeping. Toon Link be sleeping. Big brother. The way she walks, yeah, it's very funny, very distinctive. Just kind of like she's like gliding, like a ghost almost. Um, uh, there we go. I knew you'd be here. <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the girls, I call it Errol's Lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? The day that this stream is not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's the day we begin playing Wind Waker! You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big Brother, it's your birthday! <gasps> what? What? The 22nd of July is canonically Toon Link's birthday, who knew? What, what coin? We, guys, we had a 1 in 365 chance. Of playing this game and it being our birthday. Just wow, that is incredible. That's like, whenever you say, like, wow, it's 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 his birthday. If it, like whenever anyone asks, right, you, it, you as a math person, you can be very smart smarmy here. If anyone ever asks, like, oh, what are the odds that that happened today? You can go one in three hundred and sixty-five. Like, that's how days work, you know, like, oh, of all the chances that this felt like was on a Monday, what are the odds? One in seven. That's how days of the week work. <laughs> but it's it's always funny. I I I never do that, by the way. But like when people say that, they're like, what are the odds? Like we share a birthday. Huh, what are the odds? It's like one in three hundred sixty-five. But like that's how days work. But <laughs> so there we go. Um, but okay. Um, so okay. Uh, hang on. Ah, my jaw. Um. Okay. Um. So. That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I can't find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma thinks, don't you think? This game looks great. The, the writing's so crisp. Everything's so crisp and clear. It's great. Okay. Um, ooh, I'm not used to this Wii U joystick. This is... Oh, where's the other joystick? There we go. Uh, I'm so used to playing the, um, the Switch. I'm not used to where joysticks are and stuff. Um, okay. Hang on. Let's go. What happens if we let go? Ooh. Ow. Okay. Um, oh, I'm not used to these controls. Um, I, it, it has been a long time since I've held a Wii U gamepad. Okay, A is roll. Okay. Right, so we are going to... Oh, forgive, forgive me if I kind of suck at this a bit. Just, I'm not used to the um, placement of the second joystick. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Nintendo Switch controls are better. Let's see what this little kid says. Hoi, Toon Link! Hey, is it true that if you just have a little courage and run as fast as you can, then you can jump to that rock out there? Huh? Is it? Um, let's find out. Let's find out with our ooh, sort of weird controls. Whoa, one. Oh, hang on. We've got to line things up better. There we go. Um, okay. Is the ZL? Yeah, ZL is kind of like our targeting button. What does the actual L button do? L button doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Forgive me if I am a bit rubbish at these controls. Again, uh, this would be a lot easier if I was on a GameCube controller or if I, maybe if I had a Wii U Pro controller. Um, what are you doing, sir? I just saw a wild... A wild pig! Oh, see that black one there? Don't you see him? That's perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You ready to grab it, Toon Link? Now, you can't just run up to it. The pig's too alert to their surroundings. If you just jog up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold ZR to crouch, and then tilt L to crawl. Slowly behind it. Slowly. And then you, you distract it with bait, I guess. Okay. Um. Right, let's crouch. Ooh. Sneak up on the pig. Hang on. Uh, no. No. Just walk up to him very slowly. Sorry, why am I wasting time with this? We need to go see our grandma. Our old, old. No, I was pressing the A button. I was pressing the A button. Hang on. Let's just see if we. Let's just see. I'm practicing. This is me practicing controls, okay? 
No, no, no. Oh, no. Pig. 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 Why am I wasting time with this? Uh, hang on. Pig. Yeah, actually, if it goes in the water, that could be a good thing. Aha. No, 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 no. There we go. Um, hang on. Where is... Oh, hang on. Isn't she, like, up the... Uh, isn't she, like, up the mountain or the hill or something? I forget. Um, so why am I wasting time with this? See, this would be a uh, an amber moment where you... I think I think it is here, though. Isn't it? Isn't this, like, the pig pen? Or is she up on the mountain? There's someone who... I feel like she's, like, up on the hill. Um, again, why am I wasting time with this? Um... Sorry, Piggy. Sorry, Piggy. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. Aren't we, like, blocked off here? I think we're blocked off here. Yes, we are. Um, okay. But look, there's a rupee there. Um, okay. You can... You, you'd survive this one, Pig. Sorry, these controls. I am not getting... I am not used to these controls. Um... Isn't this the lady? Hey, hoy, Toon Link. Today's your birthday. Congrats, buddy. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I'm not going to read every bit of dialogue. But anyway, um, I think unless she is just like at the house here that he's at. Like she probably is just like this house here. But, um, but I, th I think there is a place up on the mountain you have to like take the pig. Um, I'm not sure. Because there's no, like, pig pen here. Oh. Oh, hang on. This. Oh, this dude! I forgot about this dude. Right. Zed up. There we go. Um. It's La Chonk. Yes. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's correct, your smart one. You, you, my friend, have just targeted me. See, when you press ZL, you can target things. That's the old Zelda style. Well, actually, no, modern Zelda does it too, but it's quite handy indeed. Yes, mm, yes. Mm. Um, to, yes, like, so climb that ladder and join me in my room. Um, but yeah, this is this is our house here. So, um, well, we'll we'll talk to the dude later. We'll talk to him later. Actually, no. Or can we go now? Is it worth going now? Ah, we'll go now. Yep. Hanayo Sora, hi! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm very excited too. I was just wasting time talking about pigs, which is kind of silly, but... Um, okay, but we're here now. Um, you're growing up, Toon Link, which means you're going to need as much wisdom as you can get from this point forward. And if you want to be wise, you must first know things. Now, I was born for you. Really? So I know all sorts of things. Yes, I've been studying all manner of topics for many years now. Now, I can tell you a smart lad. Oh, well, thank you. Um, lately, I've been thinking it's time for me to pass some of my wisdom down. I think you're the one I'm going to pass it down to. Count yourself lucky, lad. Everything that you see tacked on the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly. And before you ask, yes, I do know my filing system is uh, rather odd. Organization issues aside, however, it's all extremely useful information. You do well to read it all very carefully. Uh, reading leads to knowing, you know. Oh, ow, ooh. Oh, oh, oh dear, oh, oh dear. That's, that's, that's an idea. I just remembered this now. <laughs> um, oh, I should have read that, sorry. Um... But, uh, my younger and less intelligent brother who lives just downstairs. He hates studying all day, every day. He's, the lout just exercises and practices with his weapons. Uh, does he exercise his brain? No, the brain's a muscle too, I think. Anyway, Bark. The only thing he does study is the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot. It's not of any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to do anything besides exercise. I ask you, what's a brother to do? Um, but yeah, we're not going to read all this, because this is just going to be things like, the A, the A button, like, oh, look, there's, like, hearts, like, hearts are your health. It's like, yes, we, we all know that. You don't even have to be a gamer to know this kind of stuff. So let's, uh, get into it. Um, but anyway, we're going to, um, we're going to see our grandmother, um, oh, hang on, we got everyone's favorite character, the snot-nosed kid who bumps into you with his snot. He's a, he's a cup chew, IRL. Um, but yes, let's go see our grandma, um, hit that like button to keep the snot-nosed kid away, um, if you haven't already. Um, okay, uh, uh, let's, let's talk to grandma. Hit the thumbs up and like button for grandma. Wait, hang on, where's grandma? 
She's she's not attending the soup. Someone, so, won't someone please think of the soup? Okay. Oh, she's up here. Let's see, Grandma. Hey, Granny. And don't forget to call your grandmother. Um. Anyway. Okay. Um. Ah, I've been waiting for you, Toon Link. Ah, Toon Link. Try these on. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. Da -da -da -da. Link doesn't, Toon Link doesn't look so sure. Uh, but we got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Like Australia gets pretty hot. Uh, well, actually, I was going to say particularly at this time of year, but it's winter in Australia right now because Southern Hemisphere. Um, oh, don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young heroes spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day. Keep that line of dialogue in mind. So don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. Like, ten years old? They were taught... Well, however old we are. I, I know we're not eighteen. Um... They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Ah, there we go. We got our fit. It looks good on him, though. Does this all make sense to you? Yes. Yes, Granny. Isn't that nice, Toon Link? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party. Town? Is, I mean, I'd just call it an island, rather. Are there, or unless there are, like, different towns on the island. Um, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mm. Like liver and fish heads. Mm, yummy, yummy, yum, yum, yum. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister, Ariel. Okay, so here we go. I was gonna say I was, I was gonna say I said ten, and then I was actually thinking twelve. And someone has made a good point that Wind Waker Link is twelve. I think you're right. I think you're right, someone. And uh, just just for reference for those who can't see the chat, someone is called someone. I'm not just being. Um, I'm not being, I'm not just being like rude, like someone in the chat says like, no, they're called someone. Um, <laughs> so, okay. Um, okay. Right. Let's go. To why am I going down the ladder? Oh no. Why am I going up the ladder? Uh, no, uh, controls, controls, controls. Okay. So it's very hard having a asymmetrical joysticks. How I, I can't believe I ever uh, used to uh, love these controls and stuff. Let me just, um, I'm just going to try some stuff, because I've just realized the gamepad has stuff on it. Um, hang on, hold. Camera. Let's see. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, right, hang on, let's just save our game, because we here at Bovio Games save 50 bajillion times. Sorry, you cannot see it on your screen that it says about, so it, it's like, oh, would you like to save the game? And, and look, 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 he's... I like how his eyes look at things. So he was just looking like down and right a second ago, and it's like, oh, is there anything there? Um, the answer is no, but uh, but yeah. Right, we're gonna go get Arrow. Uh, we won't bump into the girl from the Jungle Book. Um, she must go to fetch a pail of water. I mean, uh, wheels on bus and wheels on bus wheels. Um, don't sue me, Disney. Um, don't sue me, Disney. Uh, Mr. $73,000 a day, Bob Iger. You don't need it. Um, anyway, sorry, that's very topical at the minute. Um, <laughs> but anyway. Um, okay, let's... Uh, let's go find Aral. She was she was up here, wasn't she? So surely she must still be here, correct? Um, His eyes are huge, Xander says. I agree. Um, oh, look, hang on. Uh, we've got seagulls. Um, anyway, back to Arrow. I am aware that Arrow has an American accent and that Granny has an English accent. 
get over it. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but, um, but, okay. Anyway, Bark. Um, sorry. Um, so. Ah! Hoi, big brother! Did Grandma make that outfit for you? <laughs> but wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So, anyway, Toon Link. Anyway, Bark Toon Link. Can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? Just for a second. I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging. But just for one day. We can be heroes just for one day. I mean, wheels on the bus. Wheels on the bus. Um, you got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. We will throw it in the trash. Um, set it to X, Y, or R. And use it by pressing whatever button you set to do it. Do it. Do it now. And see what you can see. Um, using the gamepad, you can also touch and slide to select items to set them. So yeah, I'll be using the gamepad to do items. Ooh, wow. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> oh, why don't you try it out now? Right now. Try looking at our house from here. Over at our house from here. Okay, so let's uh, get the item. We'll so oh, I can do that right from the gamepad. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, okay, so we'll press the R uh, button. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, gyroscope. Maybe I can, can I change the gyroscope sensitivity? Uh, right, anyway, let's zoom in on the house. Oh, hang on. The red post box. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Are we, like, stuck? Okay. Sorry, the camera is, like, stuck now. Um, but look, we've got a flying man. The postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? It's Arrow. Don't say that out loud. Toon Link, in the sky! Look up! Hang on. Uh, no, no, no. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Hang on, what, what's in the sky? What's in the sky? Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Oh, whoa! There's a bird and it's got a person. And there's like cannonball. Whoa, there's a pirate ship. And it's trying to like hit the bird. Come on, get it, get it, get it. But don't hit the girl. <laughs> Look at that bird. That is a big bird. That's like rescuers down under big. Whoa! They got it! And they dropped the girl! Oh no, where's she going? Where's she going? Where's she going? Someone catch her! If she if she hung in on that, then that is remarkable. Tim, like, this is so terrible! That girl fell into the forest! She needs help! But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Uh, okay, hang on. Let's go. Uh, no, no. Okay, that's really annoying. Um, okay, there we go. Let's go. Oh, okay. Um, okay, she said something to defend ourselves with. Well, I mean, often when I think of defending oneself... Stay away, snot kid! Um, when I think of defending oneself, either from enemies in the forest or snot-nosed kids, um, I think of... Um, I think of a shield. And we did see a shield at our house. So maybe... Um, you're gonna be the one that saves me. And by that, I mean the one that can save her could be us with a shield. So let's go see if we can... Let's see if we can, like, get the shield. Um, Charlie, kick it! Hanayo Sora, bombs! Jelly Ducky, snot kid! Um, and Danny, hi Danny! Uh, lovely to see you. So I think I did see someone say hi to you. Aubrey, hello! Lovely to see you as well. Um, the... <laughs> Arrow, respect the postman. He's America's hero. Exactly, Kevin, exactly. Um, okay. Grandma's gonna come downstairs. Toon Link, what's the matter? What's happened? Uh, no time to speak, Grandma. No time for your liver and fish head soup. Oh, hang on. We, we, uh, okay, we can't seem to get the shield. See, this is one of those things where sometimes in video games, you have like a vague sense, you have like a vague memory of something that you do roughly at this point in time, but you like, get things in the wrong order so then you like can't remember what to do but i do but i do have a backup plan um i do have a backup plan okay it's weird that we have to go here first just because i feel like there's less of a indication to go here but i'm pretty sure this is where we go uh we were told that this man is a fighting man mm. oh what's the matter to link you have an urgent look about you has something happened whatever it is from the look on your face i suspect it is no laughing matter what say you, Toon Link? Ah, 
Have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I have. Give me a sword. Again, I feel like the shield thing would have made more sense being the first portal. Cool. Okay, here we go. Very good. The first session should be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B, whatever a B is. Do not fear me, fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Ah! Ooh. Wrong! Press only B. I didn't tell you to press ZL. Who do you think you are? A person who's played a Zelda game before? Yes! Okay. Good. Keep coming at me until you hear me say, very good. Right, hang on. Boom. Bump, 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 bump. So there's a nice little four hit combo going. Okay. Very good. Next is the vertical slice. Hold ZL to target B and then press B. So if we hold ZL, we then do vertical, like that. Uh, keep swinging, I said. I say. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice. Very good. Next is the thrust. Target B or ZL, and then tilt L, the left joystick forward, and press B. Come at me. Thrust me with your sword. Okay, wow. Don't get too excited. Okay, right. Whoop. Ah, good. Very good. Keep thrusting. Thrust. Thrust. Ooh, one, two, three, four. And then, hang on. We're going to take a step back just so we don't. One, two, three, four. Okay, nice. Uh, next is the spin attack. Hold B briefly to build up your strength and then release it. Or just rotate the stick once and press B. So let's do the rotate the stick. Wah! Like that. So, wah! 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 There we go. Nice. Very good. More. Keep it up. Yeah! Okay, nice. Next is harder. This is the parry attack. Target with ZL, and then when you see the spiky A thing, then quickly press A to perform a defensive strike. So we have to hold on. We have to wait. Like that. Yeah. Um, very good. And again, target to the L and watch closely for the A. There's also a noise as well. You can kind of hear the noise. And you feel a rumble in the, uh, the, uh, the game pad as well, which is pretty neat. Very good. Now, finally, the jump attack. Draw your sword, target, and press A. Yeah. Like that. Uh, so you press A whilst holding ZL or ZL if you're from England. Um, Archie, hi. Hello, hello, hello. Lovely to have you here. Um, Hang on, is there anyone else who I've missed? Just because, uh, uh, I feel like, um, <laughs> hang on, because, like, loads of people, oh, no, okay, I was, I was like, wait, how much chat have I missed? But no, it, was, it just, it scrolled down, like, one or two lines. Um, so, hello. That was a fine display. Yes, good, 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 good. Um, and yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the foes of battle. I don't know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Toon Link. I give it freely. Take that blade with you. Da -na -na -na. So we got the hero sword. Wield it with B. Uh, but not just B, sometimes ZL and B. And sometimes uh, when the A button looks like the angry sun from Super Mario Bros. 3. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let, uh, let down the kind old man who entrusted it to you. Since the olden days, this sword has been, uh, since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, to Link. Thank you, old man. And now we bow respectfully while always keeping eye contact. Um, and you know, if we want to have fun, we can roll into the wall. Oh, hang on. I, th I thought I thought that did do something. Okay. Well, I thought the. Uh, I thought when you do this, the uh, man from upstairs reacts, but maybe that's at a different point in the game. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm just re just reading uh, Kevin's comment where it's like, D you know, don't misuse the sword, Link, and then um, and then it's like immediately goes after the snot kid. No, we won't do that. Um, okay. Right. Hang on. I just want to see. I don't think we get this quite yet. I think we actually just get the sword and then we get the, um, I think we get the shield later. Usu usually in a lot of Zelda games, you get the sword and the shield before you do stuff kind of thing. It's like, go get the sword and the shield. Like you sort of, you start in your, you know, humble little village and then, um, and then you kind of get to business. Um, to defeat the Hun, uh, wheels on bus and wheels on, wheels on bus for fun. Um, but then, um, you, uh, yes, yeah, so you get the sword and the shield, and then that's when you kind of venture out into the world and so on. But, uh, but in this game, we get the sword first, uh, because this is all we need for now, for right now. Um, so we've got our sword. 
Uh, little left-handed Link. Oh, no, stay away, Snotnose Kid. Otherwise, the, the Kevin prophecy will be fulfilled. Um, but, oh, there's the pirate ship. Um, right, okay. Hang on, let's... Oh, we can't... We could... I've never really known whether rolling's faster, but... Actually, in this game, it does feel faster. In some games, like, in Ocarina of Time, you kind of slow down at, like, the end of your roll. So I've always been like, is it faster? But in this game, rolling is faster. But we won't spam the roll button all the time, because it's just kind of... It's kind of odd. Um... <laughs> Toon Link, lawnmower for hire. Um, yes. Um, and then he can be in a picture that gets memed of like him mowing down the White House lawn being yelled at. Um, okay. So, uh, okay, hang on. We got this bridge. Right, we're going to jump. Okay, nice. Um, and then we're going to chop down this tree. And we're going to chop down these trees. There we go. And we're just going to do a nice little bit of mowing. Because, look, there's a rupee. Two rupees, even. Wow, the rupees look really good in this game. I know that's, like, an odd, very specific... Uh, an odd and very specific um, compliment. But still. Um, okay, so this is the uh, forest area. Oh, look, there she is! <gasps> she made it. Okay. So she's, like, stuck in a tree. All right, let's cut down some stuff. Can we, like... Hang, oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, right, hang on. We have to get up there. So, let's... Okay, we can't... I was hoping he was going to, like, climb up a bit there, but... Um, so, she was up there, wasn't she? Okay, so I think we need to go around this way. Oh, whoa! A little bokoblin dude. Or whatever enemy this is. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! I didn't get the four hits in, but... Yeah, there we go. There's the fourth hit. Uh, ooh, that rumble feels very nice. Um, very nice, like, tactile feeling. Um, oh, hang on, look. If Here we go. No, 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 let go. Uh, crouch. Go. Oh, hang on, if we... How do I go into first-person mode? No, in previous games, you could go in first-person mode, but I don't know how... Uh, I don't know how you do that in this game. Huh. Oh, well, if anyone knows how to do that on the Wii U. On the other game, you just, like, click up on the stick. But maybe only in certain places you can click up on the stick or whatever. But we are going to need the ability to do that later on. Um, to be able to go in first-person mode whilst you're climbing. So let me know if you know how. That is that is a green light. That is a green light to tell me. Um, okay. Um, Why can't I find money when I mow the lawn? <laughs> I know, right? That's like, it's like, why can't I just, like, get coins from blocks that go in the air or from cutting grass or, or like, why, why can't I just roll into trees and, like, cool stuff falls out of them? You know, wh why do I have to go on Amazon when I could just roll into a tree? Um, but yes, okay. Um, oh, whoa! Oh, oh, the, oh, I forgot the noise of these bird things there. <laughs> Peter, um, Lois. We'll call them the Lois birds. No, that doesn't sound that much like Lois Griffin. But oh, look at that! One, two, three, four. Very nice. Ah, she's waking up. Ah! No, no, don't thrash that. Only that. Don't, no, 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 don't thrash that. Let's go. That's only gonna make it worse. Ouch! Ugh. Wow, what's with the get up? That get up. <sighs> well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and. Oh! Miss! Miss Tetra! Oh, oh, thank, thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on this summit, I thought for sure you'd. Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain? Well, that wasn't nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repair debt to that bird in full. But, but, miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Uh, sorry, lad. Master's orders. Oh. Um. <laughs> hey, Lois. Remember the time you're a bird in Wind Waker? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's Errol! Yay! Errol! Okay, good. Ah, there we go. All is well. Nothing can possibly go wrong. No, the bird! The bird! 
No, 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 arrow, arrow, arrow. No. Brother. Let me go. Let me at him. Let me at him. Stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you could do. No. Arrow. Arrow. No. Ah. Oh. No. Ah. <laughs> oh. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Yeah. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates. You know, pirates. The terror of the seas. What do, you, what do we get from bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all, but that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? It's the Rito Man. Sorry, I just said what he's called, but, well, his species, but... Whoa, whoa! Oh no, hang on, wait, it's the... the whoa, 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 whoa. Just who, who are you? Just where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please. All I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. About this video's not sponsor, Ray Chit. No, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, now... As my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word about the bird, 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 bird is the word, about the bird, 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 bird is the word. Um, girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all the regions of the Great Sea? Uh, no matter. Anyway, Bark, whether you've heard it or not, that seems to, whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that that bird, my point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Toon Link here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is that true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Toon Link's sister has made its foul nest to the north, on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. It's a fortress that is... Forsaken. Um... <laughs> The Forsaken Fortress? That, that, actually, that might have been Tetra. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Toon Link a little help now, would it? Hmm. I don't need you to tell me that. <sighs> Even if I were to consider it. Lately, I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on. Even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with. Anything, 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 Bueller. Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you'd better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. All right, all right. Uh, anyway, let's check chat for a sec. Um, <laughs> so, um, okay. Um, oh, so I'm just reading Ke Kevin. That's brutal. I'm not. I'm not even reading that out on. I'm not even reading that one out on. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, if you're enjoying the stream and the funny little jokes and silly voices that I throw in, uh, please make sure to like and hit that thumbs up button. I am having so much fun already. We are less than an hour into this and I am immensely enjoying enjoying it. And despite the joystick thing, I am enjoying the not jankiness. So please, if you haven't, if you joined a little later and you haven't hit that little thumbs up button um, and you haven't hit the like button yet, please, 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 please do. First episode streams are like so important. Um, and we're going to be doing this for the next couple of months or so. Um, so yeah. Um, yes, <laughs> Jelly Ducky, say goodbye to Snot Kid. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Grandma. No time for liver and fish heads. We got to get the shit. The shield. The shield. The shield's gone. The shield is gone. What do we do? Well, guys, chat. That is the end of the series. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next week for a brand new game. No, I'm kidding. Let's go down here. Oh, Grandma. Grandma, where is the shield? Toon Link. Sorry, people are thumping around upstairs. I do not know why. You probably can't hear it, but it's very loud. Like, normally people upstairs, like, are not loud. Um, or the stuff they do isn't really that loud. But I was like, what the heck? Sound like something coming from inside the house. Um, the Legend of Zelda, Sword and Shield. Yes, Tenchi. Um, is this what you were looking for? Yeah, it, it was. Oh, she looks happy. Take it with you. <laughs> it would. Grandma is main villain confirmed. Um, take it with you. We got the hero shield, but Link, Toon Link looks kind of sad. But this is the legendary shield, said to have been used by the hero himself. And I bumped the microphone, because the Wii U gamepad is massive. Um, and I'm not used to a controller this big. Um, Hold ZR to defend yourself while holding the sword. You can move around. Oh, that's what ZR does. Um, you can move around if you defend while targeting. And now we're not holding the shield, because it's on our back. Mm, I guess it is true. Harold really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? Oh, it's so sad. Yeah, it was a bit of a weird pose. <laughs> oh. Oh, Harold. Right, we have our sword, we have our shield. Let's go get Zashin and Zamazenta. Um, by which I mean, join the pirates. Join the pirates. We gotta join the pirates. There's pirates. We gotta join them. Um, but there's no rupees here. What? Let's smash these vases, vases, um, and then be on our very merry way. Whoa! Why are you not holding a pot? Oh, Toon Link, I heard Arrow's voice quite from far away. Is it? Is it really true? Yes, I'm afraid it is. But we're gonna save. Whoa, hang on. We got a shop. <gasps> we got a boat. Hang on, we gotta go on the boat. We gotta investigate the boat before we get on the other boat. The boat that's a ship. This that, that's a that's a ship. This is a boat. We gotta check out the boat because boat has bow in it. We gotta we gotta do the boat. Um. Oh. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. And I'll have the rupees. Um. Okay. So hang on. Let's see. Let's see what we got. We got the bait bag, we got the all-purpose bait, and we got the high oil pair. Um, I can't remember what the Hoyo pair does, actually. If, if you want to remind me in the chat what the Hoyo pair does, feel free to remind me. I cannot remember. Um, I suppose we could buy one uh, and find out. But, um, but yes, Beedle. Beedle. This is the first game with Beedle. Beedle becomes a uh, sort of a mainstay throughout the series, really. I don't... I can't remember if he's in Twilight Princess, because I feel like he's not. But then he was in Skyward Sword, and he's in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. And I think he was in a couple of the 2D ones as well. So, yeah, if you remember what the Hoyo pair does... Oh, no, Seagull! Hoyo pair does Seagull stuff, doesn't it? I can't remember exactly quite what... Okay, we won't buy one of those quite just yet. But anyway, this has eight pouches for storing bait. Press X, Y, or R to see what's inside. Um... Oh, Xander's just said it as well. So yeah, on the delay, I fi I figured it out before the, the yes attract seagulls. Your comment just came through. Um, but yes, um, you're the greatest. I'll never forget you. Um, I'm going to make you a member's card. Ah! Yes, nice. Okay, cool. So we have one point saved up. Um, hang on. How many rupees do we have? I suppose we could, in theory. In theory. 
uh, in theory, we could buy some bait and we could buy a pair. But then it's like, oh, dude, but I think we need money in a bit. So let's not buy anything just yet. Um... Yeah, I think you're right, JP. Like, he wasn't in uh, Twilight Princess because this was, like, sort of super cartoony. And Twilight Princess was the, like, really Americanized, Western, sort of realistic one. And there's just not really a place to put a character like Beetle in a game like that. But then they've sort of, like, hybridized and kind of figured out how to sort of, like, create serious undertones while still having, like, a bright color palette and stuff. And I really like that. So, um, okay. Let's save our game quickly, because we like to save the game 50 bajillion times here at Bovio Games. Um, fun fact, in French, Beetle is called Terry. Don't know why, says Cappy Draw. I, that's a good... <laughs> Sorry, I'm now laughing at Zander's comments too. Mi hoi yo yo. <laughs> Very nice, I like it. I like it. Okay, continue, continue, continue. Uh, okay. Yeah, this touch screen is great. Okay, let's talk to Tetra, so... Uh, oh, did she say her name was Tetra? She's called Tetra, this girl. Uh, this girl! She's called Tetra. Um, wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Or are you going to get splinters and cry? <sighs> well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Chat, are we ready? I think we are. Let's do it. Um... Uh, So, boom! Here we go. Sails down! St wheel, st turn to starboard! Gong the gong, sir! And off we go and hit the whole town. Again, I, I would call it island rather than town. But look, good luck, Toon Link! Good luck finding Arrow! Take care of yourself! This stream is not sponsored by Ray Channel Legends. Um. Oh, look. Oh, it's Grandma saying goodbye as well. You couldn't come all the way down to the beach, though, could you, Grandma, along with the rest of the town? Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, oh, this music and this, the, the emotions, the facial expressions. It's so sad. Oh, how much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. You could be playing Super Mario Sunshine again. Um, no, we're going to play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, dang it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. You sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? No, look at that determined face. We're not turning back. Gong! Oh my gosh. Um, okay, uh, so let's see what Tetra says. So, Toon Link, listen kid, you can't just stand around on deck. You'll get in everyone's way. I've told Nico to look after you, so you better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Oh, I just realized this is going to be really hard with the uh, awkward joystick controls. Uh, but okay, uh, well, not, not awkward jo joystick controls, but just, um, but like, uh, but like just the ones that we're not quite used to yet. Um, okay. It's only a shame that Link's follow-up games on the D DS aren't as fun. Yeah, like, okay, so, um, Phantom Hourglass is, I'm sorry, Nintendo, I love you so much, but Phantom Hourglass is kind of trash. Um, I like the gameplay and stuff like that, but the, the there's, like, a tower thing that you have to keep coming back to, and you have to, like, it's, like, you have to, it has like these floors, right? It's like, oh, you do floors one to five. And then the next time you go, you have to do floors one to 10. And then you have to do one to 15 and then one to 20. And it's so annoying and it's so boring. And it's so like, ah, like, why can't you do one to five and then five to 10 and then 10 to 15 and then 15 to 20, which is what they do do in the sequel, uh, uh, Spirit Tracks. And uh, Spirit Tracks is a very good game. I like Spirit Tracks, not the best, uh, but I think Spirit Tracks is a solid game. I think Spirit Tracks accomplished everything that Phantom Hourglass was trying to do. Um, and I think the train was more fun than the boat, but that's just me. But I, I think that, that whole, like, tower thing, though, single... Or, uh, you, we can debate, like, the boat versus the train and the sort of dungeons and bosses and whatever. You know, like, 
that's like a debatable thing but the the core premise of like going to a tower like every time you do a dungeon and then like you know advancing through the tower the fact that spirit tracks makes you not have to repeat everything every single time single-handedly makes it the better game like objectively um so um yes Bo is going on a game right again as i do um <laughs> Kevin, Link sees Snot No kiss, Kid in the Distance. No, I can never go back. <laughs> Agreed. Stop right there. This is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't even think it. All right, all right. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, we'll go down here to find Nico. This is Nico. Oh, well now. Oi there, Swabby. I don't sound like Barry from the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond series that you should totally watch as well at all. As of today, <coughs> I am your superior, Nico. Now, I promise I'll go easy on you. So, you do as I say, okay? Right. Now, first off, you have to take the test all new pri pirates have to take. Not pirates, pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. The first thing that you have to do as a pirate is copy these DVDs. No, I'm kidding. Um, you watch everything I'm about to show you real careful, like, so you can cram it into your no doubt mushy, swabby brain. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt L to step on it. Presto, switch pressed. I, again, given these control, this gamepad and stuff, I'm not 100%, I'm not, I don't have as much faith as you, little ma'am. Now, check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Like this. And there we go. So, I was able to jump to this first one myself. But that next one is too far, right? Wrong! That's when you gotta do this! Did that, did that. Yeah. If you jump at the rope, you can grab onto it and use the joystick to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform. And then, press A to let go and jump to it. Yeah. Like that. So, do you think you had get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem, though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while. You actually get given loads of time. Don't freak out about it. The, like, the freaking out about the time is your biggest enemy during this. Uh, and, and it will be the thing that makes you fail, not the actual task itself. So if you don't get there, by the time they drop, you have to start over. Yeah! <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, so hang on, let's see. Um, I would, Danny, I would have laughed if he just fell. I know, right? That would have been really funny. Um, okay. Um, JP, that's a good, that's a good point as well, actually. Zelda is, like, an integral part of... So why can I not, like, scroll up through chat? Um, Zelda is, like, an integral part of, um of actual spirit tracks like you get to like sort of kind of play as her um so yeah um okay um hang on Bo's impression sounds like your aunt your aunt sounds like nico and barry like who's your aunt <laughs> i'd love to meet your aunt if she genuinely sounds like this yeah it's kind of like a it's, it's a little bit dr doofenshmirtzy isn't it um ah perry the platypus no but like ah perry the platypus a platypus Barry the platypus. Um, so there we go. Um, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, but yeah. I mean, I could. It'll probably take you at least one year to take over the tri-state area. Um, but yeah, one rough year, one tough year full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now, give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. Um, oh yeah, actually, I did make a meme, hang on a sec, I'm gonna push this down, hang on, hang on, we're gonna push this down, right, because it makes the switches go down, I wanna reset the switches, because I'm talking to you all too much, um, and then, we'll, hang on, we'll line this up so we're actually, like, facing forward, there we go, right, and then we gotta line this up, okay, we didn't really line that up very well, but then, okay, whoop, okay, and then we'll go this way, 
Yep. Okay. And then we've got to go this way. Hang on. We're going to line this up. There we go. Right hook. Again, do not freak out, okay? Just line it up. Hold ZL. Hold the button until you're facing forward. Ooh, we can almost overshoot that one. And then, there we go. Nice and easy. What? You did it already? I, I, I'm proud to have you as my, as, as my, as my underling. I, I wonder if it's okay just to give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your award from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Um, so I made a meme the other day. I'm watching Beyblade Burst Quad Strike recently, the series after uh, Quad Drive, uh, the series that I was in as Bashara. Um, and the main character, she kind of has these like two identities or personas. I don't really think they look that different because uh, it's basically just a girl with an accent who wears yellow, but one has like shades on and is the, 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 the jacket is less puffy or something like that. They look very similar. Like I, I wouldn't really have noticed that they like look different. But basically she's kind of like, oh, she has like her regular kind of Clark Kent thing. And then she like has like her Superman thing when she's like actually like bleeding. And the main characters at the minute like don't realize that these like two different people are the same person. So I kind of did make a meme where I was like, so like her her base form is like pre uh is her name but then her like alias is quadra and so i did make a meme with like dr doofridge schmertz where i was like pre and then like quadra the platypus um but yeah anyway <laughs> um so there we go um yes and that will summon lexi here we go Da -na -na -na. So we got the spoils bag. You can keep items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. Um, it can hold up to eight kinds of items, much like the bait bag, uh, with X, Y, or R on the item screen to see what's inside. Hey, Toon Link! We've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry up and get up here! Or hurry and get up here! Okay, so... Um, okay, hang on a sec. Um... You just drew Bashar on packs. Very cool. Um, oh, hang on. Wait, where's... Oh, no, hang on. Nico's here. Okay, let's... We can just leave this way. This doesn't matter too much. Um, anyway, let's go take on the Forsaken Fortress. This is where the big bad bird is. Um, and then we'll kind of take it from there. Um... Oh, did Dara reply to my tweet this morning? Oh, cool. I'll have to check that out. Again, I didn't really check social media, like, before the stream. I, I, I sort of did my post, like, at about an hour before the stream, and then I uh, haven't, like, checked social media since, so. Um, and I think I kind of just went on to post about, like, oh, the stream is soon or whatever, uh, rather than um, uh, rather than actually, like, checking any posts or anything. Um, so I think basically, yeah, okay, Tetra's up there, so. Hey, Toon Link, here. Here I am, up here. Tetra takes no nonsense from nobody. Right, here we go. Look at those eyes. Determined eyes. Up we go. Up the ladder. Here we go. Okay. So we are at the Forsaken Fortress. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Ah, <sighs> well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. There it is. This is the Forsaken Fortress. I think this is a very tough first area for a game. I'm just going to say, not. we'll get to why in a minute, but, you know. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago, it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look. Over there. By that window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like that whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? Hmm. I know. 
Here we go. We're in a barrel. Hey, this isn't Donkey Kong, this is Zelda. Let me out of here. Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Yes, my lady. Never fear, kid. Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Three. Two. One. This stream is not sponsored by my channel. Ah. The gamepad is rumbling. Oh, the window. Oh, we made it. We made it. We made it. Okay, good. No, the sword. Ah. Not the sword. No. 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 Uh. Oh, no. We're like knocked out. We're actually like knocked out. No, 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 no. no. Don't land on the water. No, no, no. Link, wake up. Wake up, Toon Link. Sorry, I should, I should call him Toon Link because that's, that, that's what we called him. Okay. Forsaken Fortress. Here we go. The, the, the expressions and stuff and the cutscenes in this game are just so good. Um, <laughs> it would. This poor child. I know. <laughs> We've been playing for an hour and ten minutes. Please make sure to like, like and subscribe um, if you haven't already. Um... Oh, whoa. Your, sand, your sword landed all the way up there? Ah, oh, shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. <laughs> the look on your face. Priceless. What the heck? <laughs> I slipped this stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So, if you see the A sunshine button, you better press that button. I've put the stone on the I've put the stone on your quest status screen. Use the R on the, the, the right arrow on the item screen to take a look. It's pretty basic. Um and it's on the gamepad, so none of your streamers can actually see it. Just you on your gamepad. Yeah, you out there. Um Hey, but listen! Hey, listen! I need this back after your savior sister, so don't go losing it. You understand? All right then, down to brass tack. Tra down, to blah, 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 down to brass tacks. Uh, the courtyard is awash with searchlights, so they'll see you right away if you just go charging in. Better think it through. Okay, so yeah, so basically, we need to sneak back up to that window. But these lights um, are very dangerous. Um, So as you can see, yeah, these lights are very dangerous, and uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, and the question is, where do we want to go? Uh, let's go in this door first. There are lots of doors to go into. Um, actually, I probably shouldn't have done this. Oh, you should not have done that. Um, let's go this way. Okay, hang on. Let's have a look around. We got to play and have a look in Rosie's bag. Actually, stop singing songs, Bo. Uh, Jim's drawing book. But if you get that reference, congratulations. Um, okay, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh little enemy. Uh, get away, little enemy. No. No, 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 no. These things are so annoying. Um, yeah. I really should have reevaluated this situation better. Uh, ooh, but look, there's a treasure. There's a treasure chest. Uh, let me get the treasure. No, no, no. Let me get the treasure chest. Let me get the chest. No, no, open the, open the chest, dang it. Open the chest, dang it. Hang on. There we go. Okay, that took a while. Uh, okay, uh, here we go. Is this where we get the map? I believe this is where we get the map, right? Oh, the compass! Okay. Question is, where's the map? Um, um, okay, hang on. Let's, let's go this way. I think this takes us outside. Okay, so forgive me if this is a little bit sporadic. There probably is like an optimal path to uh, to do this. Okay, hang on. So there's... Okay, so there's the uh, window in relation to where we are. Um, oh, okay. And there is... Yes, yeah, so there's the window in relation to where we are. So it looks like there's like a ladder near here, but we almost like need... Oh, well, now I can't remember which direction we went. Um, hang on. If we check the map... Hang on. Oh, okay, I cannot. Okay, you cannot see the map. So this makes for for, for just for, for quality, fantastic quality streaming content. Um, if you could. Um, oh, okay. Hang on. So let's go this way, 
and then we'll go up. Okay, so that ladder we can't get to, but... Oh, hang on, hang on, whoa, 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 hang on. She's trying to contact us. Hang on. Listen up, Toon Link. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it'll shut the searchlight down. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows and see if I could make it drop its weapon. If you did that, you could pick up its weapon with the A button. But that's just me. Well, you do. Okay, let's find out. Um, okay, so... We're gonna go up here. Hang on, we're gonna... Oh, hang on, can we crouch? Yeah, let's just crouch. Oh, actually, what we can do as well... See this uh, jar here? So we can use the shield, but... Oh, oh no. We, we alerted him. Okay, well, anyway, he stopped operating the searchlight. Um, but we have now given ourselves away. So, hang on, let's pick this thing up. Hang on a sec, let's... Wait, hang on, is he gonna come over this way, or...? Oh, here he goes. Yeah! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Ah! Ow, 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 ow! Hang on, shield, shield! Use the shield... Oh, oh, I'm so used to... Sorry, I'm so used to... On, on regular Zelda games, um, when you press... Oh, oh, the A button swings. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Um, right, swing, 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 Toon Link. Swing. There we go. Okay, nice. Um, oh, look, a joy pendant. Da, 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 da. Oh, we're going to need a lot of these um, as we progress through the game. So, yeah, sorry. Um, I'm getting used to the controls. I'm so... In regular Zelda, right, when you press the ZL button like this, you use your shield automatically. I forgot in this game that you use your shield separately. Okay, so... Um, if we... Oh, you click in the stick to do first person. Okay. Um, so, that um, is... Okay, so that is one set of lights disabled. I think our next port of call should be trying to disable the next set of lights. Now, if we look here, we can actually access the other two sets of lights if we jump down here from the look of it. So, I would say, let's take a risk. Oop. There we go. If you hold forward when you jump down from a big place, you start rolling. Uh, keep rolling, 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 yeah. Um, okay, hang on a sec. Can we climb up here? No, okay. But I think we can still probably jump down. This is fine. Um, so let's let's disable all the lights first, and then we'll figure out how to reach the... Um, then we'll figure out how to reach... Hang on, let's grab the jar. Let's see if we can, like, hit him with the jar. Yeah! Oh, okay. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. No, 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 stop hitting me. Oh, hang on, we have to shield. Shield with both buttons, the ZL and the ZR. There we go. Oh, no, hang on. Come on, come on, then. Come on. No, no. <laughs> Don't start crawling. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, come on, pick up the stick. Pick up the stick. There we go. Swing. Swing that stick, Link. A ZL, ZL. There we go. Ugh. Sorry, he doesn't... See, it'll have like the combination. It's kind of like a one hit at a time dealy. Rather, than, the sword had a nice sort of like one, two, three, four. This is just one, one, one. Okay. Um. So this is two sets of lights. Uh, two sets of lights down. Um. So now, all we have to do is figure out a way over there. How do we get over there? That is the question. Um. Yeah, look, th those ones are still in operation. So all we have to do is figure out how to... Now, can we... Hang on a sec. Let's get rid of this. No, hang on. Can we jump? Can we actually just jump over there? Because if we can just jump over there, that would be blooming perfect. Oh, oh no, it like blocks you midair, I think. D did you see that? I kind of like got stopped midair. I did let go of the joystick, but I think it like actually blocked us. Yeah, no, it blocks us. Okay, so we have to figure out how do we get down there. Look, there's a little, um, there's like a little, like, alcove thing. Um, there was a little alcove thing there. So was there, like... Okay, hang on. we got to figure out how to get to this final set of lights. Because the final set of lights are the ones that are shining onto the seagulls. And we don't want that light to happen. So how do we get... Where is this final set? If I had to guess, I would say we have to go in this door, and then there's going to be, if I look at the map quickly on my screen, 
I think there's going to be, like, if I go in here, there's going to be an alcove somewhere to the left, okay? Um, so, oh, hang on. This is the other, this is the other place. Here we go. This might, I think this is the map, right? Yes, we've got the compass and the map. Nice. Um, okay. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so we actually have the map. I mean, we already had a map. I, I mean, I, so I don't really know what the difference between what I was looking at before and what I'm looking at now is. But um, but we have we have the map and we have the compass. So let's see. Oh, hang on. Well, this isn't quite right. Um, oh, this is the jail. This is what, okay. So basically, spoilers. I won't demonstrate this. But if we get caught by anyone as we're like sneaking through, because we're supposed to be sneaking through, which you again you wouldn't know that just yet that we're supposed to be sneaking through because we've just been like attacking every enemy we see. Um, if we, uh, but if we get caught, this is where we end up. I guess I guess that's why they put the map here. So it's kind of like they kind of probably almost like bank on you getting captured, um, and then. Hang on, is this exactly where I just came out? I think this is where I just came out, but let's let's find out. Um, hang on a sec. Let's find this. Let's find this set of lights and figure out. No, those are the ones that are there. So, basically, hold on. I'm just I just I'm just gonna like refer to my map, okay? But if I go here, okay. So we want to end up at this ladder here. I am on the. Okay, I'm on the exterior. I'm on the exterior right now. But where is this? Okay, I, the map isn't really that helpful. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I would say though, what we have to do is let me go back to the map so I can actually see where I'm going. Um, it does point out where the lights are. So I would say we have to go in here, and then we might need to go down to the ground floor. I would say. Um, because we were up here on the upper floor. So I would say we need to drop down to the first floor. Right. Ow. Um, I would say we need to drop down here to the first floor. Uh, so that here we are on the map here. Um, you can actually see a map on screen now. And then basically the lights, I believe, the lights are sort of kind of around here somewhere. I basically need to probably, okay, yeah. I think I see where I need to go here. So, oh, hang on. No, 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 come on. Where's, where's a barrel? Hang on a sec. There's. Um, so those of you who are familiar with this game will know what I'm doing or what I'm trying to do here. Can I open this door? No, I cannot. Um. Ow! 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 Mice! Mice! Leave off, mice. That ain't nice, mice. Oh, hang on. Yes, I remember this now. It's been a long time since I played this game. There is a switch here. And it opens the door. Um, and I believe there is a treasure chest here. Nice. Ooh, look at that. It's a nice big treasure chest. We've already got the compass. We've already got the map. What could this be? It's a piece of heart. That's pretty nifty. Doesn't really help us right here, right now. But that's kind of cool. Um, okay, so. Let's... So, hang on, those mice are very scary. Um, where is... Ugh, come on. Oh, hang on, here we go. Right. There we go, okay. So we want to go very carefully here. And forgive me if I do do this at a ridiculous snail's pace, okay? I just want to make sure that we really do not get caught here, okay? So here are the moblins. And I think these are moblins. Even though I know moblins and Breath of the Wild and Twilight Princess are huge. But I think... Oh, hang on. He's going to... Hang on, I'm going to go a little bit faster here, just so that... Ooh. Oh no, he's going that way now. Okay. Where are these things going? We want to be careful of the mice as well. The mice can mess you up. We've got to keep an eye on where this central one is, right? The one that's to the left, I'm not really worried about. But the one that is kind of more in the middle... He's the one who I'm afraid of. Although, but to be honest, I'm now very terrified of both of these. Uh, no, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh, I'm going to have a heart attack if they attack me. Come on, leave me alone. Leave, no, 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 leave me alone. I'm not pressing anything. I haven't pressed anything for like 
half a minute. All during this, I haven't said a thing. How many press the joystick? Right, let's go this way. M m mouse, mouse. Mousy rat mouse. Ra m ratty mouse rat. <gasps> come on, come on. Oh, these mice and these moblins are terrifying me. Leave me alone, little mouse. <gasps> that, okay, that was very terrifying. Um, between the camera change, the sound, and the fact that there was a rumble in my gamepad, that was- Oh! The mouse! The mouse is attacking me. Can I, like, get going? Oh, come on. Let me move. Let me move. This is rigged. I, I forgot how much this- Like, it really makes your heart, like, jump. Every time they do that. Like, the gamepad, the camera change, the- It really- I don't know how, like, loud the music is coming through on the stream, so I do apologize if I've got it, like, set too loud, or if I don't have it. Um, but, again, like I said, this is a really hard area to do. When you're a kid, I think this is a really hard area to do. Ooh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Maybe they made them a little bit more lenient in this game, because I feel like I'm being an idiot here, but I don't really know how to get around them otherwise. Other than if I could go above them and then... Like, maybe I'm not really supposed to go this way. Like, maybe I was supposed to go above them on the top floor and then, you know, whatever kind of thing. Come on, leave, leave me alone, moblins. Leave, no, no, don't turn around. What are you doing? Ugh, moblins. 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 Right, this is this is like like red light, green light, stop, go. Simon, what's the game? Traffic light, but like red light, green light. Right, please, just leave me alone, okay? The the thing that's annoying about these as well is I don't really think they have like a super structured pattern, if that makes sense, you know. Right, I think we can just go here. Come on. Oh oh oh. Okay. If I have already been in this room, though, I will be very annoyed. Leave me alone. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. There's like a bajillion of them. Have I not already been here? Was this not the place I was earlier? I feel like this is where I was earlier. This was where I was earlier. Dang it. Okay, so let's... Okay. Now let's go this way. Is there like a moblin here? There's no sign of a moblin here. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go for this. Pro problem is, I am going, like, the complete wrong way here. This is not... This is... Okay, hang on. Let's just find out where we are here in relation to, like, everything else, okay? Yep, no. Yep, yep, no. I know. Well, okay, yep. That's fine. Cool, cool. Okay, so this is where we were at the start. So let's now... Right? Because we've disabled a bunch of lights and stuff. So we went to that door first, and I feel like we've kind of explored all this stuff. So let's, do, like, go up this way now. And let's see if we can figure out. But see, here's the problem. Here's my issue, lovely chat. Um, this is where we were before, right? Like, we need to get down here. So the question is, how do we get down here? We're not allowed to jump over. Um, or maybe we are, I don't know. Um, the only thing I can think of is, what if we do jump down here? Ooh, nice. And then, I mean, I might have just messed that up. But let's jump down here and see what happens if we go here. Because maybe I can approach it from this side, this way. No, we cannot. Oh, that's not good. What the heck? Oh, the laser dude. I forgot about the laser dude. I forgot about the laser dude. Um, da -da -da -da. Yellow rupee. How cute. Um, okay, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't really think there's anything... Wow, now hang on. Let's, let me just check... Hang on. Where are you going, Moblin? Oh, don't walk that fast, Bo. And don't walk whilst he's looking, Bo. Okay, hang on a sec. You gotta just hold the joystick this fast. Don't hold it faster than this, Bo, okay? 
Come on. I'm, t I'm always too afraid to, like, turn the stick away in case it's, like, that's the point where they... Oh, see, this is... So, okay, so, look. This, this place here is, like, a place I wanted to sort of end up. But it's not the place I wanted to go right now is the problem. At least I don't think it was. Um, but let's find out. Um, Andrew, hello, and Effie girl, hello. Um, cause the, the problem is, is like, I know exactly like where I need to go. It's just, I don't know how to get there is the problem. <laughs> um, so hello everyone. Sorry, again, I've been very uh, preoccupied looking at the screen, so I've not been looking at chat. Um, oh, come on, come on, let me pass. No, no, don't walk this way. To, to quote, to not quote Steven Tyler, don't walk this way. Steven Tyler's like, walk this way. I'm like, don't walk this way. Just, to, what's the name of the singer who's like, turn around? Bonnie Tyler. Take the Bonnie Tyler approach, not the Steven Tyler. Oh, well, they're both called Tyler. Look at that. Um, oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Ugh. I, I swear, like, there was a time as a kid where I did kind of know or figure out, like, where like the most optimal place to go is and we started off really strong right hang on i am just gonna do this for a sec because i do not know what i want is for him to just kind of hide behind the sign and then him to go back to the door over there so we'll wait for hang on if we do like this here we go come on come on I don't want to walk any faster than this, even though... Hang on, I'm going to stop just because he's there. Okay, yes, keep going. Right. Okay, there we go. See, easy. Oh, well, well, we're bumping into the door, but otherwise, easy. Um, uh, hang on, let's go outside for a sec just to check our bearings. Um, and then we'll know if we're... I have a horrible feeling. Oh, okay. Hang on. This is interesting. This is different. No, it's not. This is where we were before. Oh, for the love of pizza. Um, hang on, then. You'd love to watch me play a horror game. Well, that ain't happening. <laughs> uh, Metroid Dread is like the closest we'll get. The Metroid game is the closest we'll get to horror. Because, I mean, Metroid kind of is horror, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Bark. Um, right, we're going to go this way now. But this is just going to take me back to where we were. That's the annoying thing. We're not, like, making progress here is the problem. I feel like... You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go up the ladder here. Go away, dinners. I'm gonna call them dinners, because they're like, dinner, 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 dinner. But I can't even bother to go, dinner, but like, dinners. Get away, dinners. Sounds like dinners, but like, get away, dinners. No! Oh gosh, hang on, wait, what happened? What happened? Why didn't we make that jump? No! No! Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Get out of the way, dinners. Get out of the way, you dinners. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let me up, let me up, let me up. Come on, no, come on, up, up we go, up we go. And then, hang on, we're gonna... There we go, okay. Ugh, I feel like we maybe need to go this way. Because I've kind of, um... I feel like I'm kind of starting to exha exhaust my options. Ugh. How do we get over there? Hang on, which... Okay, that is the searchlight we need. No, but... Uh, see, here's the problem. That then takes us back. That takes us back. Hang on a minute. No. Ugh. See, here's my problem. If I jump down there, and then we go over there... Uh, 
Right, I'm, I am going to jump down here. I know this is going to reset a load of stuff that we've just worked really hard to do, but we kind of need to... We kind of need to reset for a sec. If anyone remembers which door or whatever we need to go through, let me know. Um, I am happy to accept the help here. Like, it, but only if you, like, factually know. I don't mean, like, sort of be like, oh, maybe try the one on, like, the... We, we could maybe, like, swim in there, which I think may be a possibility. Um, but let me... Let me have a quick look, and then we'll... Because we, we've been in a bunch of these doors and stuff, which is the problem. Um... Ay -ay 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 the annoying thing... It's like, it's here, right? Exterior... I feel like it's like the second floor here. The annoying thing... Is it really feels like there should be just some kind of external exit. Some kind of like external exit or something here. Like we either go down or up here. And then that will take us to the tower. That's what I feel like. The problem is, is that the case? Is that true? Hang on. If this takes us where we need to go, then I'll be very annoyed. Um, okay. Otherwise, what will happen? Oh, it's here. Son of a gun. <laughs> Dang, I think that was I think that's been there and available to us for such a long time. Okay, but this is fine. This is fine. Um, okay. Let's grab our sticks. We got to go and grab our sticks and throw them at this thing. Called licks. Oh, hang on. no no no. Oh, hang on. Shield, shield, shield. Hang on, shield. Shield. Oh, hang on, there we go. Come on. Ooh. Oh, wow, we got him just before, just in the nick of time. Okay. Joy Pendant. Whoa. Nice. Okay, so that is all the uh, windows done and dusted, kippers and custard. So now, uh, now the question is, or now the thing is, oh, wait, hang on. I'm, I feel like a, oh, hang on. Where's the telescope? Telescope, telescope, telescope. There's like a box that, oh, yeah. See that box there? We can push that down to get down there. Um, but the thing we need to do... Oh, and then there, there's a box at the top of that. So that's more for like a way back down. So basically, the thing we need to figure out now... And this is the thing where I do struggle and stuff. I used to... Oh, man. I used to know the way to this. Um, okay, right. The tower that we need to get to... Hang on. If we get the telescope out again. So here's the seagull window, right? Or... I think is that is the seagull window. That's the seagull window, right? So we need to kind of go over here, and I feel like we need to go up that ladder there. But then we can't get up that ladder there. But then... So basically, we need to find a way to get to, like, this tower. Um, getting to that moblin over there looks like a good shout. If we see this guy over here, hang on. Getting over here... Um, that seems to be the way. So, if I had to guess, which I'm not very good at, um, I would say that what we need to do is we need to go around and around and around. And we need to... So, right now, if you if you picture we had our little kind of pentagonal map, right? We had our little pentagon. I would say that we need to sort of go through and go this way. Like, now we're working our way along the left-hand side. And then this takes us up to the top, to the north. And I think that's the way we need to go. If I remember right, which I probably don't. Um, uh, but let's see. We'll figure this out. Hang on. Um, so I think we need to kind of go... I think we need to go up and then to the north. That would be my guess. But let's figure out. Good idea. Save the game. We saved the game 50 bajillion times here at Bovio Games. But yeah, now that we've taken up the three uh, towers... Is that, um, now that we've taken out the three towers, um, let's do this thing. So I think, yeah, I think we need to basically just kind of go, like, up and north. That's my suspicion. Let's go back to the map. Um, which way? Okay. This way. Does this take us back out? Okay. Right, let's keep going this way. I think before... Yeah, I don't think we've been this way. I don't recall going, like, past, like, a very deep corridor 
and stuff, so let's go this way. There's a big room here. Oh, okay, this is where this guy is. I think this might be the way. Okay, whoop. Let's go this way. I, again, in my head, I can picture where we need to go. Um... But the, oh, hang on. Box, 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 box. Box. We need a box. Ah, there we go. See, like, that door there. It's saying that we need to go to that door there, and then that leads us to that door. So hang on. Let's see. What, oh, let's see. We're on the right path, because Tetra's even tells us. Ha! Ah, got it, Toon Link. In order to reach the top of the tower where your sister's being held, you'll have to find the room right below the tower. You gotta take the door to the outside, and then climb up from there. You got that? Okay, that makes sense. Um... It doesn't help that it keeps changing the camera angle. Like, every time you're, like, focused on, like, doing it, like, sort of doing it, it, like, takes you out of it. Um, but okay, yeah, for some reason there's, like, a crate here. We can't do anything with this box, but, yeah. So, basically, this is, on my map now, we are at, like, the north. If you, Again, if you picture the little pentagon with, like, the point at the top, we are now, like, underneath the point at the top. So, if this is the big room, yes, okay, this is what I was hoping for. The big room, this is where you need to go, Okay. So I think other than getting lost that one time, like not remembering there was that door, I think this has been pretty successful. I would say it's been pretty successful. This has been a pretty good run. I remember one run when, when I was a kid where I just kind of like sped through it, like incredible stuff. But this, this hasn't been too bad. Right, let's just go this way. These two are going to like bump faces. Right, hang on, let's just drop down. So there is a door over there which you can approach as well. Now, you could very easily be like, i got to get to that door over there. We don't actually need to do that. Um, hang on, we're going to go this way. Hang on, this one. Oh no, I hear mice. I am so scared that a mouse is going to push us over the edge because we are like an inch off the edge. Um... It's okay, so just stop sniffing, please. I think this is a really tough thing. This was a bold choice to have as like a first thing for a game. I'm just gonna say that. I'm just gonna say that, okay? Mouse, rat mouse, mouse rat, Chris Pratt, Parks and Rec. Um, don't you dare. Don't you dare, little mouse rat friend. No! Don't believe it. Don't believe it. But look, this is where I said, like, the little gap in the water, that's where I said. This is where I said we need to go. So that's kind of cool. Well, that sucked. Uh, that sucked a whole lot. Um, so the question now is how do we get back up? Um, I really don't... Do I really have to go through this corridor? That sucked. I, I don't remember the mice being this annoying and this much of a problem. I will just say that. Okay, hang on. We can get back in here easily. Um, so let, let me just reassess. <clears throat> okay. So this is the point I looked at earlier where I was like, oh, this could be the place where we blah, 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 blah. Um, but let me just see if we can... I think we can get back up there quite easily in like a couple of minutes. I don't think this will be too much of a problem. Um, I think we can just... If we can just sort of find the place we went to before, right? I think this should be okay. Actually, I think maybe... Uh, okay, right. That was so annoying. <laughs> I mean, I, again, I knew it was going to happen. But, like, what? <laughs> okay, hang on. We're going to go this way. Again, I think we are going to be back where we were a minute ago. I don't think this is going to be... See, like, this is, like, the long tunnel, right? With the little thing on the left here. And then the big bit of fire over the door. So, again, this is fine. We're, we're back where we were after, like, two minutes. Because, again, I do kind of remember the layout of this place. I promise you. Um... Okay, here's the room with, like, the pig laser. Uh, let's see, there's the pig laser man. Um, so yeah, this is fine. This is fine. What we'll do next time is we'll just...
kind of like get closer to the wall. But why were the mice being so annoying? Is it because I keep calling them mice and they're rats? I would have thought a rat would have been appreciated being mistaken for a mouse, but what do I know? But yeah, so we only need to get to that door. So this really isn't too much of a problem, okay? I wish there was a way to KO the mice, though. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Right, let's go this way. Stay out of it, mouse. Mouse rat. <laughs> Sorry, I just I remember Parks and Recreation now. I forgot all about mouse rat. Um, okay. Please make sure to like and subscribe uh, if you've been watching for an hour and three quarters. Um, okay. Okay. <gasps> oh god, oh god, oh god. That was terrifying. That was absolutely terrifying. I'm not pressing a button. I don't know. I feel like if you get right in their way, they can, like, just be like, <laughs> like I'm not moving an inch here, okay? I'm going to wait until he's all the way back over there and sniffing again, okay? Sniff. Um, I don't know if, like, going in through that door is easier. Like, maybe it's easier if you approach from the right-hand side. Right, come on, come on. Let me move. We got to move like barrels. We've got to move. Like oh, no, 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 no. We've got to move. We heels like the bus. Do, do, do. Um, oh, sorry. Hang on. I don't know how low the frame rate is at the minute. Forgive me if it looks... Does the picture look alright to you guys? On my preview, it looks super choppy. Um, but it says that everything is going at a good speed. So, But let me know if the picture looks rubbish. On my preview, it looks it looks super choppy. Mouse rat. Mouse rat. Because I might be able to fix that in a minute. But obviously once I'm through this door. Okay. Come on. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Oh, are you kidding me? Stop going that way. Right. Hang on. He's going that way. Yeah. Go that way, piggy. Oh, that way, pig, mob, mob, pig. Hang on, I'm just going to wait and see what he does here. Ugh. Stop turning around. I really don't know, like, when to move here. Because, like, that feels too dangerous. And, like, he's going to turn around. I don't feel like this is the best designed thing. I'm just going to say that. I feel like the opportunity... Oh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, please, please, leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I think I've just got to make my... Hang on. Are you going to turn around? What are you going to do? Look, and then he turns around. Please leave me alone. I think i got to just go for it. Oh, I hate that you have to put the barrel down. Okay, um... Yeah, okay. I'll keep an eye on the choppiness. That was really weird. That, see, no, now it's smooth. That's smooth. Okay, I don't know why that was choppy. And it was really weird because on my OBS, it's like, oh, it's going at 30 frames a second. I'm like, okay, well, that's cool. That's that's the setting I have it set to. But it looked really choppy. So, um, Cassie, hi. Lovely, 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 lovely to see you. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, getting flashbacks of the Panic Attacks this dungeon. I know it's so scary. It, it's easier on repeat playthroughs, but that first time... I haven't played this for like 10 years, though, or whatever. So, hello. Um, oh, chat was bugging out as well. Maybe it just sank with the stream. Okay. But, um, okay. Hang on, then. Oh, gosh. Okay, right. Oh, right, we've got one more. But I think this is like the last barrel, um, which sounds like a really, like bad name for an epic book like the last barrel it's like jk jrr -R tolkien <laughs> jrr tolkien's the last barrel it's like that that's not as epic sounding as you think um right hang on we're gonna go right up against the wall okay oh and then we're gonna just see what he does i think he's gonna come back this way nope he's going that way we're gonna go a little bit faster than minimal speed Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 
No. Okay, hang on. I'm not pressing anything for a sec because the camera messed up. And the camera keeps messing up. Come on. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Come on, joystick. Sometimes I love the Wii U gamepad and sometimes I don't. And I think after having played a Switch for a couple of years, I'm kind of like... Because I think when I like had a Wii U back in England... And it was like, my, you know, it was like my main console. I really loved it. I thought the gamepad was brilliant. But having played like a sort of a better console for the past few years, I'm kind of, I think I'm at a point now where I'm like, yeah, okay, I can see why the Wii U isn't like the best. But okay. Um, yeah, okay. The stream's looking nice and smooth. Again, I do apologize for that. Just w w when you're in these very tight, sneaky points, um, it's kind of harder to notice things. Okay, right, hang on. We're going to press the A button, hold it to side or... Um, now, see, if we hadn't disabled the lights, I believe the lights show here, so you actually do, like, need to do the lights. Maybe you don't need to do all of them, um, but, um, but yeah. Okay. Right. But yeah, and then, like, one of the lights would, like, go here. So, right, let's just hold on to that button. So, so tight. I hear seagulls. That is a good sign. Yes, we hear the seagulls. Well, hopefully you do. I don't know how loud I've got the settings. Um, there we go. And we're getting some hearts as well. This is good. This is good. Right. I, I always sidle for like way too much longer than you need to, but I'm just always so scared. <gasps> Look, our sword! Our sword! Yay! We're happy! The sword! But there's an enemy right in front of it. Yay! <gasps> ah, the spikes! And the dude! <gasps> and we got the boss music. Right, come on. Pick up the sword. Da -da -da -da. We got the sword. Please don't drop it again. Right, I'm gonna shield because we don't shield automatically, and then we're just gonna attack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love this music. This brings, this brings me back. Uh, there we go. Okay, nice. <gasps> and the door swings open. <gasps> Guys, I think we I think we're about to make it. Look, we're we're like trapped. We have no choice but to go in the door. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's face. The big bird, the final boss. After less than two hours, we're here. We're gonna face the final boss. And we're squinting. Can we see anything? Oh, <gasps> there is. There's like a couple of girls, and there's, and there's like, look, there's like one who, there's one who looks like she's quite rich, and one who's like kind of poor almost. And then there's Errol. Uh oh, I feel rumbling in the gamepad, and Link, and Toon Link looks very suspicious. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm not ready for a boss battle, guys. Come on. What are you doing? Wait, no! No, no, no! No, no, I want to fight you, though! I still want to fight you! No! No, this isn't fair! I want the boss fight! I said I'm not ready for it, but I want the boss fight! No! No, 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 no! Arrow! Where are you taking me? Ah, oh, he's big and he's getting smelly, funny, funny smelling water all over me! Ah! There's like half a pirate ship floating in the air. Who would live in such a place? A man. There's a man. A big man. Oh, look at poor Link. Toon Link. I can't quite make him out. No, 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 no. This stream is not sponsored by Ray Channel Legends. The bird is in cahoots with someone, with emphasis on the hoot, because that's a bird word. But no, we've got to save Errol and the other pointy-haired girl, pointy-eared girls, not pointy-haired girls. Um, Toon Link. Toon Link. Wake up, Toon Link. So, whenever anyone puts burb, I keep thinking people are telling me, like, BRB, like, oh, we're gonna BRB. Like, Jelly Ducky's actually put BRB, but then Xander's like, burb. Um, but anyway. Pull yourself together, Toon Link. Pull yourself together, Toon Link. What the heck? Where am I? Why am I in a boat? A wooden boat. <laughs> well... Have you come to your senses yet? <laughs> you are surprisingly dull-witted. 
Ah! A dragon bone. <laughs> Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. Manly men. Menly man, men, 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 menly man, men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Toon Link. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I love Link's little sitting pose. Very nice. Like, just hand over knee. Great stuff. I understand how you desire to protect your sister. How your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him. The shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Ganon. What? He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Toon Link, you still wish to save your sister from him? Yes, indeedy. And will you do anything to save her? Yes, indeedy. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. No offense. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Yes, indeedy. But like a slower yes, indeedy. Like a yes, indeedy. In that case, we depart to the great sea. Uh, but I am getting ahead of myself. Uh... This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Forge. A boat cannot sail, but I have brought you... On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavors at sea. So listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately, as soon as your errands are done. Okay. And Nightbot's reminding you guys, did you know that I wrote a book uh, called Day-to-Day -day Happiness? Yes. Uh, I'm very proud of it. Anyway, wind, this is Windfall Island. Okay, Schadenfreude. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, lovely to see you. Oh, look, these two are gossiping, and they're pigs pigging, and gossips gossiping. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Okay, so this is Windfall Island. Ah, this music, so calm and relaxing, really takes you back. Um, so we are at 99 rupees, which may or may not be the maximum. Um, can we go in here? Oh, we can. Very nice. Um, let's see what we got here. It's a bomb man. This would be the bomb shop. Go on, use the joystick and go around and look at my wares that are sold for so much money. Yeah, whatever, all right. Like, I can't afford 10,000 rupees. I'm, I'm like at the limit of 99. Um, the birds are singing and the pigs are pigging. What a wonderful day. Um, let's use our sidling skills. 
Aha! And sneaky, sneak, 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 sneak over here. Um, and see what happened. Um, right, let's just sneak. Ooh! Link, why did you do that? Why did you scare me? Right, okay. Let's sneak up here. And then we go here. Oh, hang on. Let's see if we can do our um, click in the stick. Yes, that's how we do it. Okay, nice. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Hang on. you got to be careful when it changes camera angle. I am potentially spoiling something for later, I've just realized. But, oh, well. Oh, okay. We, we're not at a limit of a uh, hundred and whatever. So, that's kind of cool. How'd you sneak in here? Whatever. Well, then get better security. Get some rats or something. Rats are very good at being annoying. Um, okay, so that's uh, thing number one. Oh, hey, we've got a man. A man. What does this man say? He's feeling pretty good. He recently got himself a pet pig. Three, in fact. How often do you see one of those? Not often, chum. Um, he can't stop worrying about him. Oh, no. How sad. Um... And hey, look, it's Pacha from the Emperor's New Groove. When the sun hits Windfall Island just right, this island sings. Um, so there we go. <laughs> Someone clipped that and sent it to Sarah. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. But look at all these lovely townspeople. Um, he keeps calling me Laddie, which is very nice. Um... Oh, look, look, his... Whoa. Um, oh, you, if you please, young boy, please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. O okay. Oh, my sweet, sweet daughter, poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. Wait, what? What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Oh, well, crud. Having a single kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, you know. Please, save my poor daughter. I beg of you, here I stand begging. I hope you give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Yes, pay! Pay! Um, so, like, oh, here's a poor... So, we noticed that one of the girls was poor, and one of them looked kind of rich. Maybe, the, maybe Maggie was the poor daughter of this poor man. Poor is in poor man because he's unfortunate and he is not fortunate. He's unfortunate and not fortunate. Um, jeepers, jinkies! Oh my gosh, these kids. Um, okay, but yes. Uh, but anyway, lots to see and lots to do in Windfall. Hey, it's this guy. Is like, what's up, sport? What's up, kiddo? I'm having a stroll around town. Ah, yeah, strolling around at the speed of sound. Yeah, good man. Um. But, uh, okay. Um, I am the Cappy Draw. Oh my gosh, yeah. Thank you for, yeah. Here, no, here at Bovio Games, we like to save the game 50 bajillion times. I'm sorry that you cannot see that I'm saving 50 bajillion times. On the screen, you'll just have to be assured that that is what I'm doing. Um, hang on, Elvis here. What is Elvis going to say? Oh, baby. No, that's not it. That's not it. The well, actually, no. I suppose if it was Elvis, we'd have to go, oh, I'm all shook up. Oh. Um, but anyway, but no, I, I'm like, hey, baby, disco, baby. Oh, dear. Pardon me. Pardon me. Gals, so fully and wholly absorbed my dance, and I couldn't even notice little old you standing there. Like, I am top. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. Uh, you should know to come me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Disco stew is all right. Yeah, ready, guy? One, two, one, two. Oh, yeah. See, guy, you just reminded me long ago that there's a magic dance. And later on, this isn't at all any kind of foreshadowing. You know the rhythm, guy? Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm with you. Um, Okay, so let's go in this place. Um, Disco stew looks different than I remember. Um, okay. Um, yeah. Look, hang on, I haven't even looked in here, but look, we're destroying pots and there's a funny man! Hello, funny man, with your funny walk and your funny little. He gets. There's a little, like, a suction cup. Um, let's free him with the Switch. Not the Nintendo Switch, but the Switch! Um. Yay. 
Hooray! Thank you. Thank you all so very much. Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Why am I doing this in the same voice as Barry? Tingle. Tingle. Hello. Limpa. Become an item. I actually don't know what Tingle's voice would sound like. Never thought of it. Huh. You got the Tingle bottle using Mevas. What's that? You can insert a message you've written and send it out to sea for someone unknown to receive. Oh, great. So this is like a useless feature. Meverse no longer exists. Um, so unfortunately, we can't lose this thing. We can't use this thing. But yeah. Um, so set and use it to Y, X, or R. Be aware you can't write letters if you're not connected to the Meverse. Like no one will ever be ever again. Um, oh, yeah. There's, Nightbot is just reminding you guys about my social media if you're interested. Because on Twitter, I'm at Bovio. On Facebook, I have a fan page, which is like facebook.com slash Bovio. Instagram is at bo.bridgeland. That's B-E-A-U dot B-R-I-D-G-L-A-N-D. There's no E in that. Um, and then threads is the same, bo.bridgeland. B-E-A-U dot B-R-I-D-G. L-A-N-D. So there we go. R.I.P. Meverse. I miss Meverse. I did a post about that the other day, actually, where I had a nice comment on a uh, Super Mario Maker uh, comment I left. Like, I had a nice reply to a comment I left. Um, are you familiar? I'm not actually going to read this, because this is, like, pointless. Um, just don't write anything unpleasant, okay? Couldn't if I wanted to. Um, but he's going to go back to his special island. Um, I'm actually getting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy! Do you want to come to my island? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? We got the Tingle Chart! Up uh, nice. Open it on the map screen! If you ever need any help with your charts, just dip it to Tingle! Don't ever forget it! Ooh, Kalimba! Uh, and if you ever get the Tingle Bottle, you should check out the back of- Oh, hang on, uh, hang on. If you'd like to give your Tingle Bottles that little extra oomph, check out the back of the cell, check it right out. Oh, hang on. I think I just remembered something. Look at the Wii U gamepad. We can now send letters in the Miiverse. It's that, That's all this is like saying. Um, yes, cool. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I want to receive letters from anyone, not just my friends. Um, we'll go back to the map. Actually, no, we'll go to items. Or the map. Items. Items. Map. Map. Items. Um, here we go. Pick up the stool. Pick up this bucket. Oh, the box. Hang on. I'm going to grab this box. Here we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. And then we're going to go here in this thing. And this is where you want to click the stick in. Because if you do this, you can actually see which way you go in. So let's go left. We'll do left, left, left. Oh, so see that there's like some wood there? Ugh, bless me. Um... See it? There's some wood there on the left. We don't want to... If we see wood, we want to avoid wood, okay? Um, just keep that in mind. So if you see wooden bits, you want to avoid the wooden bits. So look, there's a wooden bit. We want to So we want to go to the right, not to the left. Um, but we'll sort of generally do left, 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 if we can. Um, there's some more wood, so we don't want to go that way. Um... Sorry, I am all congested all of a sudden because of that sneeze. I think that sneeze did stuff to my nasal passages to block them all up. Um, okay. Ooh, here we go. Let's let's get this treasure chest. Oh, Kevin, you gotta go. We'll take. Oh, hang on. Is the, is the uh, stream being slow again? Yeah, that's all right. We got the picto box. Nice. We can record it with the twelve pictographs. Press CR to view your pictographs. Nice. We got the camera. Um, so this is cool. I'm just going to call it the camera rather than, like, the picto box. Because I can't even remember. Was it the picto box or the pictograph? Pictograph, I think. But, um, okay. So, um, let's crouch. Um, I did say earlier, um, I was like, oh, what happens if you go on a wooden bit? Well, I will show you. There's a wooden bit there, but, uh, but you can actually see uh, another wooden bit ahead. And you can actually see what fate awaits us. See, remember those rat ma mouse rats from earlier? Um, if you walk onto the wooden bits, they uh, have trap doors that they like to pull on you. Ah! Okay, there we go. Um, oh, <laughs> we're here with the king of uh, red lions. Did you get a sail? Once we leave this island, it may be some time before we can return to its shores. Make sure you've bought everything you need before we depart. Um, okay, yes, sir. Right. Enough dilly-dallying and shilly-shallying. 
We gotta find a thing. Um, we gotta find a thing. We gotta thing the thing. Um, hello, potion lady. What's up, potion lady? Um, oh, okay, hang on. They called you Miss Windfall way back in the day. Hang on a sec. Let me put that camera there. And we'll take a picture of you. There we go. He shows off his pictures of me as soon as he's taken them. Uh, like this. Well, that's an excellent photograph of me. I'm amazed. I usually look awful on film. Uh, but somehow my complexion doesn't look, doesn't look right. Maybe that's because it's a black and white pictograph. Uh, yeah, we may need to get a color one. So we'll see about that later. Um... Oh, there is a text in the rock. Oh, whoops. Well, oh, well. Um, here we go. I've got the potion man. Ah, hello, hello, hello. You are standing in the one and only chew jelly juice shop. You must have heard our potions are the best. I'm telling you they're too good, in fact. They're absolutely incredible. Hmm, what's that? What's chew jelly, you ask? Looking somewhat bewildered? Oh, sir, you simply must be joking. You don't know what chew jelly is? Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words chew jelly roar out in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why is the key ingredient in the most effective potions around? All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir. Do you have an empty bottle? I mean, can I buy this one? Yeah, let me buy it. Yeah. Oh, red potion. Red potion? I'll buy it. You don't have an empty bottle. Give, well, then give me that bottle. You dastardly man. Okay, well, we can't buy anything from him. Um, he'll probably just send my yang energy out of whack anyway. I've played... I have I know the hangout quest. Um, okay. Um, okay, so... Oh, if you're liking and enjoying this stream, we are like, what, two hours and 15 minutes in? Um, let's like and subscribe and all. Oh no, like, uh, this kid. You looking for a sale? I have no idea where you'd find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? Look, I'm feeling down right now, so shove off, will you? Go pester that guy in the massive coat or whatever. Whoa, tetchy, tetchy, tetchy boy. Um, this door has a nice... This door is a nice door, and this is all very fancy. Oh wow! Look at all the, look at all this shiny stuff. Oh my gosh! Good golly gosh! Look at all this! Look at all this stuff. This is all very valuable. Wouldn't want to break any of this. Um. Um. Okay. Let's see. We have these gossiping ladies gossiping their gossip. Oh, she's so saucy, isn't she? I can't believe she's a school teacher. Rumor has it that she has mountains of tacky pendants and earrings. It's as if she loves nothing in the world more than jewelry. What are you doing? Why are you listening to us, you scamp? You listen, young man. I haven't seen you around, so I guess you're new to Windfall. But don't you know it's bad to eavesdrop on conversations only meant for adult ears? We're discussing very, very important topics the kids just wouldn't understand. You're far too young to be listening to us, young men. So shoo! Shoo! Shoo, I tell you! All right, all right, fine, fine, fine. I'll get out of it. I'll make, like, a hockey player and get the puck out of here. Um, okay. So, uh, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things to discover here on Windfall Island. I don't know which stuff to pay attention to and which stuff to not pay attention to. That is the question. Um, well, this is kind of a pointless uh, tangent, because, look, now we're, like, back here anyway. Jump up there, little link, little link, little toon link. Um, okay, so hang on. We are... Oh, we're up here now. Um, do we want to talk to everyone? There's so many people on this island, man. Like, there's this man, who's like people all over the world. Da -ba -da -ba -da, you know, whatever. Um, I don't really think this. Right, okay, chat. If any of you know anything that we can do right here, right now, that's worth doing, 
like maybe it's worth talking to like the teacher lady and then playing with the kids and stuff like that but right now i feel like we should just focus on getting our sail and just kind of focusing on the story and then we can come back to windfall island later on that's my inclination uh but let me know if there's anything where you're like no 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 you want to do this now okay um don't be like too obvious about it but just be like you know, oh, the, there's, like, you know, the person with, like, the red clothes. You should talk with him now. Um, you know, do that kind of whatever. Um, um, I didn't casually swear. I just merely implied casual swearing. Um, that's that's the fun of the joke. Um, but, yes. No, I do, I do like, let's make, like, hockey players and get the puck out of here. Uh, that is one of my favorites. Um, it's from Two and a Half Men. I don't know. I don't know if it comes from anywhere bef like before Two and a Half Men, but I know it from a, a Two and a Half Men episode. Right. Okay. Um, let's talk to this man in this coat. Um, my story is a strange. My story is a strange. I don't know what voice to do. My story is a strange one. I came across, across cursed seas from a land far away, a land where the blizzards blew violently, heading for this town called Windfall. Dear me, as I travelled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet mysteriously, only that escaped without so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you are a traveller as well. Oh, yes, indeed. Could you not purchase that from me? It is my one and only heirloom from home. And the people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that, despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their town. Please, I beg of you, I wish to open a business here in this town. So I am in desperate need of finances. So, how does about 80 rupees sound? All right. Thank you very much indeed. I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I maybe could have, like, haggled him down. I don't know. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh, dear me, what a happy day. Very well, young master. As promised, please, take that. That dude looks like the ice climber's, fa <laughs> ice climber's father, Cassie, says, yes! Yes, Cassie, very good. I like that. Um, that in red text. Um, but we've got the boat sail. Press A while you're on your boat to pull it out and B again to put it away. Yes, 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 you've made a good purchase today, my young master. And you've saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sale in the world. Treat it as such. Um, so yeah, there's like a coffee shop here where there's like some people in. Uh, there's like a school here with a teacher in. Where is the school? This is the school. Um, and like, you know, and she's like, you need to deal with these ragamuffins who are like following us. Uh, here's the picture place with... I don't know if this person has a mission for us yet or whatever. Um, I Basically, we, we'll get the color camera later on and um and then we can like do stuff but i don't think oh i remember this guy he's fun why young sir i must say you seem to be in possession of a very fine picture box there are you a lover of photograph pictographs as well there can be no villains amongst the ranks of picture box lovers take your time look around i implore you and while you're here please do visit my upstairs pictograph gallery you're bound to find it quite interesting, young sir. I guarantee it. Okay, we'll go upstairs. Sure, why not? Um, oh yeah, here we go. Look at all these pictures. Yeah, he's look at all these fun. Look at all these fun photos this man has taken. Um, we won't look at them all. But oh, 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 aren't these some finely snapped pictographs you must visit? <laughs> but come now, you needn't be so surprised, my young sir. It is a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it, for I am quite a creepy man. It's quite an amusing diversion. Think nothing of it. By the way, the pictographs you see decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. You see, in my younger days I was tireless, sailing far and wide across the great sea, snapping pictographs wherever I went. Have a look at them, young sir. Um, so yeah, here we go. So you can look at all these and you can select them. And a bunch of these like have little hints as to, uh, I don't know, things that you can kind of do later on in the game. But we're not interested with that. We're going to just um, carry on with our game. We have our sale. Um, he sounds like the Chucks just from Super Mario. Hi, I'm a Chucks, though. A <laughs> uh, little bit. Um... 
little bit. Um, so there's like a shop there or something. And then, oh, here's the rich house. Hang on, let's go to the rich house. Uh, let's go to the upstairs of the rich house. And then this is like the last kind of main place we can go before. There are like some like other places we can go, but... Um, but here we go, look, here's a wealthy man. There's a wealthy man here. Um, mm, I wonder if a boy like you will do. It is difficult to tell. It is difficult. You see, my one and only daughter Mila, or Myla, or Mola, I don't know, was taken away to, from me to a frightening place called the Forsaken Fortress. I have asked many to rescue her, but it seems to be a difficult voyage that is a cursed place. Oh, to see my sweet Mila again, my precious little daughter. I worry so over her welfare. I can't recall the last time I slept more than a wink. Oh, I sincerely wonder about the wisdom of asking a boy like you to do this. But would you lend a hand to help rescue my precious daughter? Sure. You are a brave boy. I was going to do it anyway. You are a brave boy to take on this task. I assure you, if you do rescue her, I will pay you as much money as it takes. I'd give my entire fortune for her safety. Aw, he's just like a, he's just a good, he's just a good little dad. He's just a good little dad. Okay. Um. Okay. Right, righty ho. So anyway, yeah, there's like stuff to explore, but let's let's like come back here once you know there's like more stuff. I don't know if we can play the game that's here. Uh, oh, hang on. Aha. 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 Okay, never mind. Um, can we play this game right now? I'm kind of tempted to see. Um, cause this is a fun game, I, I tell ya, I tells ya. Hey, welcome. It's 10 rupees per game for kids. You wanna play or what? Yeah, let's play. Yeah, okay then. Ahem. Oh, welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dolvesky. Look sharp, for we are the sole protectors of this island. Admiral, red alert, all hands on deck. Like, Admiral, red alert, like, all hands on deck. So now, still sh shows off the schools of giant squid are approaching. All oh, ships prepare for battle. What? There? Oh, I see the fiends approach. Oh, no. There are three squid groups. A large one, a medium one, and a small. And a small. Actually, that is more German than anything. But oh, well, we are doing French. If easy allows them to come any closer, the children on the island will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system to seek out and sink all of these fiendishly hidden enemies. But be warned, you have only... Actually, that is German, is it? Like, you have only 24 cannonballs that you can fire? To destroy the mar marauding squid pods, you must score four direct hits on the large, three on the medium, and two on the small. Um, use the castle to move and do all the other things. Is that clear, sailor? Um, you only get 20 cannonballs. Fire bravely. Now, I, as a man of mathematics, um, you know, this is just clearly a case of like, well, okay, hang on, four and three, and two, is nine, and there are, hang on, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are 64 squares. We get 24 shots, 24 over 64 is what? 12 over 32, which is six, over 16, which is 3 over 8, so we can only hit 37.5% of this board, but if we can hit any things. So basically, what is the conclusion we're coming to? The answer is, I I, I don't really know. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, th 3 in every 8, um, but if we ignore the outside ones, if we actually do ignore the outside ones, there's like 8 here, right, 8 here, and then like 6 here and 6 here. So that's 12 plus 16, which is 28. So 64 minus 28 is, what, 36? And then we've got 36, and we've got 24 out of 36. So that's like one in every one and a half. Uh, so basically, if we do something like, say... Splish! Um, 
like one, two, three, one, two, three. No, I, I have no idea how to do this. Oh, kaboom! Hang on. Uh, hang on. Okay, there's the three. Um, oh, I probably should have gone all the way to the edge. Um, so we've used 12 of our thingamajigs. Oh, we're running out of space. Ooh! 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 Oh, but then we've only got the two left um, and we've got like four shots. Okay, where is the best place to find a two? There are so many, there are so many twos. There's so many twos. Do we go like over here? Um. Oh, chat, where do we go? Where do we go? Again, like I said, you have a three and eight chance of like kind of correctly guessing or whatever i don't know uh that's probably not the mathematics of it but anyway bark um where is a good place like there are potential twos up here there are potential twos here there are some little twos which are kind of here i feel like doing one at the top could be good like here no okay well never mind um i feel like no corner C corners aren't a good place to go really oh no Oh, no! We were, like, one space off! Ah, oh, we got a kaboom on the final turn! No! That was so unlucky. Oh, the sailor has ever retreated or something. Um, should we try one more time? Let's try one more time. Z20 cannonballs! Oh, yes, oh, yes. Um, okay. Um, splish. Let's just do, like, one in every two. Like this. I think this is going to be a bit inefficient. Oh, okay. Hang on. Okay. Hang on then. So maybe if we want to go like here, here, here. <laughs> this isn't going well. Um. Oh, hang on. Kaboom. Kaboom. Oh, so close. Should we do one more? I, this is where you can, you know. Again, I don't know if there's like a mathematical... Like, I need to look up Battleship. Because I know how to do the slide puzzle, by the way. Oh, okay. Hang on. Kaboom. 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 Nice. Oh! No, hang on. Oh, okay, hang on. So now we got the three. Oh, how do we get the three? Oh! Hang on. And that, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, is how you do it. Sheer dumb luck. Um, <laughs> so there we go. Um, so there we go. Ah, excellent work, work sailor. Yo, I'm doing French. I know it is more German, but I like to do the French. Oh, because like splish. That isn't German. That's like French. Your deeds have successfully protected the peace on this very island. We are so very proud. We would like to thank you, sailor. Oh, hi, hi, Mr. Sailor. Please take this piece of art. It is so good. Oh, the art. It is great. Oh, yes, let us do it. Uh, so thanks for playing and all that. I can't tell you how fun it's been for me. And uh, don't forget your umbrella. Or nothing on your way out of the door. But, uh... Okay, thank you, kind sir. Um, I feel like if you do that, I can't remember if like the heart, piece of heart is the only reward you get. I feel like there's like an, a harder mode as well where you get like a, a map or something. But we'll have to see. That might be spoilers for a time ahead. Hey, it's this guy. I remember this guy. Um, oh, the wind. That has to blow in the right direction. And then you have to hit the switch. Interesting. In oh, a westerly wind. Now, one thing that's a bit confusing about this game is like a westerly wind means a wind coming up from the west, which means that it needs to blow eastwards. So, yeah, just let's keep that in mind. Uh, but, yeah, I think this eclectic group of people, including my friend Putcher here, um, 
I think these are these are all very interesting and delightful people, but I think they are people who we will benefit more from uh, talking to um, once we return here later. I feel like there's more we can do if we come back here later. Um, now, all we need to do is find our friend, the King of Red Lions, and then I think we'll be all good to go. Oh-ho! That look in your eye. So, you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well. Then I should teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hull and press A to climb aboard. I, I beg your pardon. Um, hoist the sail you got with A to get moving. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The up arrow that appears behind me indicates wind direction. Use L to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press B to put the sail away. Try it to adjust your wind speed. Yes, I understood. And one more thing. When you are out at sea with a few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. Uh, I've marked the place we should currently be heading on for your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, it's like the map. Yes. Uh, westerly wind. Oh, oh. Oh, hang on. Now, a westerly wind blows, hop in and let it carry us to the east. Well, hold on a minute. That guy was like, we need a... Oh, no, maybe he was saying we have a westerly wind and we shouldn't have that. Okay, well, anyway, let's not worry too much about that. That's not too big a deal. Um, okay, so let's hop in the boat, climb in, and then... Uh, so I think if we hold ZR, we cruise. So this is how... Um, this is how... Uh, he got around a bit before, so we can do this. But look, we want to follow the arrow, and then we want to press A to set sail, and then we follow the wind. So, bye-bye for now, Windfall Island. Everyone wave goodbye to Windfall Island. Everyone, 007, salute Windfall Island. Salute Windfall Island. And let's now carry on. And if we look at our map on the bottom screen, uh, there are there is an island to the east that we need to uh, head to. So, um, oh, hang on, oh, hang on, uh, uh, ZR jumps, okay, whoop, hey, nice, uh, but yeah, you get these fun little mini games out when you're out on sea, sailing around, um, little barrels up here with rupees, uh, I think you can just bump into these barrels, you don't actually have to, like, jump or anything, but I like jumping, you might as well jump, you know. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we went for that yellow one instead, um, but yeah, <laughs> okay, um, hang on a minute, what's here, this isn't where we're meant to go, oh, no, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out the boat, get out the boat, get out the boat, um, let's see what's here, hang on, there's a, there's a ladder, here we go, oh man, this music, this music takes me back, um, But let's see if we can uh, accomplish anything here. Oh, look, there's some enemies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice. And look, hey, we've got a treasure chest. Isn't that neat? Isn't that neat? Um, look at this chest. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think that this game is complete? I mean, hopefully not, because like this is supposed to last us a few weeks. Um, hey, we've got a red rupee. Isn't that nice? Um, okay. I mean, we can probably break these for, like, a bunch of rupees or whatever, but let's not worry about that too much. Okay, uh, so let's jump down and say good hello to our friend, the King of Red Lions. Um, let's go this way. Uh, set sail. But hang on. Ooh, there's a boat. There's a boat! A boat! Hang on. No, 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 no! I keep pressing the wrong button. Sorry. I think on the GameCube it's, like, a little bit different from this. Um, no, no, no. Beetle! Beetle! Stop! Okay, he stopped. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, here we go. And look, it's Beetle's boat. Beetle's back. Do you guys remember Beetle from like an hour ago? He's back in boat form. Okay, nice. Uh, oh, thank you! Um, uh, so let's get... How many rupees do we have? Oh, okay. So let's get a Hoyo pair. A me Hoyo pair, as we're now going to call it. 
the hoy, hoy. Um, well, the ahoy pair. Oh, well, ahoy, well, ahoy. Um, you have two points saved up. You should try to save up 30 so you can earn a silver membership. Whoa, silver membership. Silver membership. Um, and we got the all-purpose bake. It has three portions. Um, thank you. Um, let's buy bait one more time. Let's buy let's buy bait just in just in case three isn't enough, okay? Um, so we have four points saved up. Do you give me anything for getting like less than thirty? But anyway, fuck. Um, okay. Um, right. Whoop. Hang on. Let's get in the boat. Hang on. I just want to check one thing here. Ow. No, we can't because the sail is going the wrong way. Hold on a sec. If you take out your sail and then let go like this, whoop, so hang on, we face this way and then we take it out and then we face this way and then we take it out and then we go this way. And then we hold that cruise button and we can go this way. And there are random little enemies. Do they do anything? I don't think so. But let's beat him anyway. Yeah. There we go. But yeah, so I, I don't really know what the point of like these kinds of little islands are, truth be told. But um, but let's get back in the boat and let's head where the wind blows. Um, but yeah, I can't see any. Well, mm, there's an uh, there is like an island here. <laughs> there seems to be a bit of an island here. So let's go this way. Let's head this way and let's actually let me go with my items whilst I'm sailing here. I can do this. There we go. Yay for multitasking. Yay for the benefits of the Wii U. Um, ugh, come on. Ah, hang on. I see a bit of a... Is this like a submarine -y type thing? Oh, hang on. Whoop. Hello there. Yeah! Okay, hang on. Uh, yes, 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 yes. These guys are treasure hunters of some kind. I'm not going to bother reading it out because I can't be bothered. But um... Oh, nice. We've got a treasure shot. Well, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> Open up your map. Do, 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 do. And then press the button. And then blah. But yeah, we have no way to get treasure. Um, but he's like, oh, Dragon Roost Island has these things called grappling hooks. I'm sure that won't be any kind of foreshadowing, though. Um, best of luck. Goodbye to you yourself. Um, right, one thing I want to do before we before we c continue following the wind, um, I want to just keep an eye out. Can you see any like splashing, like a, like say like a fish jumping up and down? I can't, maybe that maybe this can't happen until you get to like Dragon Roost Island. Um, like we might not be able to do anything or go anywhere. I can't see a fish. Can you see like a fish like splashing out of the water like a magic harp? I can't see anything. Um, I can't see anything. I see like the seagulls. I'm looking around. I can't see a fish splashing. So maybe the fish doesn't appear yet. On every island, there's like a fish that splashes, but I can't see it yet. So maybe he doesn't show up until. Um, maybe he doesn't show up until we reach the next island. But okay, so on our, on our map, which you can't see because it's on the game pad screen, so I do apologize for that. On the, if we're on the GameCube, I could like show you the map. But basically, we're like one square over from where we are now um, is our destination. Uh, and it's pointed towards the way that we are now pointing. And if we look at uh, this island, uh, this island here seems to be the location we're going in. Um, like, this this island seems to match with the square on our map that we have marked on our map, that the King of Red Lions kindly uh, marked for us on our map. And, um... Oh, hang on. Jelly Ducky. Um, you got... Uh, you just got with your friend Sola, um, and they said, wondering if you can say hi, and if not, you're really busy. No, hello, hi, lovely to speak to you. Um, oh, here we go. Um, so I'll just say hi to you very quickly before we get to the island. There! On the horizon. That is our destination, Toon Link. 
Dragon Roost Island. It has the best music in the whole game. Well, maybe not the best music in the whole game, because there's a lot of good music, but this is one of my favorites. Uh, oh, this music. Cha, 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 cha. Love it. Doo, doo, doo. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Balu. Not Baloo from the Jungle Book. I said Valu. Um... Okay, um, now, some of you listening to this music, it, it, say if you, like, if you've played, like, some Zelda games, but not other Zelda games, um, you may actually recognize this music. Like, if you've never played this game before, like, if, if, say, like, Breath of the Wild was your first Zelda game of the series, which it might be, for a lot of you it might be, um, because this game, you know, this game probably has only sold, like, a few million copies, whereas Breath of the Wild has sold, like, 20 million, and uh, Tears of the Kingdom has been, like, top of the charts for, like, two months. Um, so, and sold, like, 10 million in its first weekend. Like, Tears of the Kingdom in its first weekend probably sold more than this game ever has. Um, I'm just putting, you know, to put it in context. So a lot of you out there may have played Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, but not this game. And so this music may sound familiar to you. And if you think of Rito Village, that's where this music comes from. Rito Village is a remix of this music that you're listening to now. So, um, you must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait a moment. <laughs> like, where did he get this from? This is the Wind Waker. Huh? Huh? He said the thing! He said the thing! Um, it is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. Yes, I said baton instead of baton. Um, in those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. Uh, let's try using it. First, conduct in three. I will just say, this was, like, very confusing and weird when I was a kid. This didn't really make sense. They should have just, they, they should have come up with names for these rather than calling them, like, three, four time or whatever. But anyway, buck. Do not touch the joystick. Just match the rhythm by tilting uh, the joystick. So, so up, down, right. Um, so that was splendid. Next is 4-4. Four, four. Hold the stick to the left and then press the arrow buttons I'm telling you. So, so um, there we go. No, Cassie, I'm sorry. I hope you're able to catch... I, I leave the stream up. Like, I leave the stream replays up. So I hope you're able to catch up on the rest later. Um, and I'll see you next time. Like, hopefully see you uh, live next time. Uh, that's it, Toon Link. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct in 6-4 by tilting to the right. But you'll do well to remember that. But I won't make you practice. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, Bark. Um, so, you receive the legendary Wind Waker and the title of the game. By receiving this magical conductor's baton, you can borrow the power of the gods. Uh, use R to conduct. Um, don't tell L to conduct in the end. Okay, um, hang on a sec. I'm just gonna, can I, like, items, can I, like, take that off? Ow. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna... Okay, so this is Dragon Roost Island, everybody. Um, notice that Link was looking up there because there was something highly suspect. Um, but we don't know what. Um, hang on, let's just go this way for one second. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Oh, hang on, we want to get the Wind Waker, actually. Where is the Wind Waker? Oh, uh, maybe we can't use the Wind Waker yet. Like, spoilers. Can we not use this yet? Really? 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 We're not gonna... Or is it like in a different bag or something? Nope, we just can't use the Wind Waker yet. Okay, well that sucks. Um... In the left... Well, that's what I did. Like, I sort of checked the screens on the bottom... And uh, there's no. 
it's uh, not there yet. So I, I think it's after we do the first dungeon. Because I remember you do have to go here, but I think maybe they just don't allow it so that you, you have to, like, do dungeon stuff. So anyway, look, he's looking upwards. We're looking up at the dragon. The great dragon, Valu, Valu, Valu. Um, but look, there are also bombs here. Um, so let's pick up a bomb. Hey, look. Oh, wait, it's going to blow. It's going to blow. No. Oh, whoa. Oh, one thing about... Oh, I just remembered. One thing about this game where it's actually, like, worse than the uh, GameCube version is whenever there are explosions, it gets really laggy. And, like, laggier than the GameCube game. And it's very confusing. It's like, why is, like, the newer game laggier? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, so I don't really know why that's the case. But um, but that is the case. So, yeah, uh, there are going to be a lot of times where you can see it will be, like, very laggy when the explosions. Like, if I run whilst this happens, boom. Like, And I don't think the GameCube version is quite as uh, egregious as that. I, again, I don't really know why... It's like that, but that's just the way it is. So just, and later on when we do more like bomb heavy stuff, um, just forgive me if it gets kind of laggy. That is just the game. It's not the stream. Uh, that is just the way it works. But yeah, boom, lag. Um, so, okay. Let's do that. There we go. That was a nice little throw there. And then we'll do a bit of sidling, a bit of our sidling. Not to be confused with silering, which is being a menace to democracy. New island, new save. Yes, we will save in a sec. I'll wait till we uh, get to the top. Um, hang on, Z Zander. I have never, I never have enough of those in Tears of the Kingdom. Um, now, I can't remember how much of a delay there is or anything. Do you mean bombs or do you mean something else? I cannot remember what I was talking about. Um, hang on, let's just put this here, and we'll shield. Boom. Okay, nice. Uh, feel free to remind me what you're doing. Um, oh, Aubrey, thank you so much. Hope you're able to catch up on the rest of the replay. This was really fun. Thank you for joining. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, hang on, there's just one thing I want to... No, I'll wait till we get our own bombs. I think there is, like, a... There's a bit of a bomb thing we can activate already. You can do it with the bombs lying around, but I'll wait until... Yeah, bombs... I do wish um, Tears of the Kingdom had the remote bombs. Um, I do think that that's something which uh, they could have had still. I know they wanted to have like four different new abilities, but having bombs as like an item and one that you can only really get from like the depths. Uh, yeah, they're like too important a resource to not have like an unlimited amount of like a bit of a shame. Um but anyway, Bark. Uh, Toon Link? Toon Link, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. Do you remember me from two hours ago? I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister? Is she... Ah. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Toon Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? Or chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the Chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our Airy. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come on inside, Toon Link. I'll be waiting. ka -cha! Thank you, kind Rito man. Oh, this music, man. I love it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, oh, hang on. Why is the stream being laggy? Stream, why are you lagging? I'm going to just do one thing, just to see if this helps. Hold on one second. Forgive me if the screen goes black for like the tiniest of seconds. Um, nope, that still sucks. I don't know why that's sucking. I do apologize. But you'll have to just enjoy my whimsical commentary. Um, let's just smash these pots. Yeah, I don't know why this is being weird. Hopefully it will fix. It fixed itself earlier, so hopefully it does now. Again, it's telling me that it's working correctly. It's like, oh, the numbers are working correctly. But uh, it's like, it's it, oh, yeah, no, I'm definitely streaming at 30 frames per second. We haven't dropped a single frame. It's like, okay, well, it looks like you're dropping frames. Um, so I do apologize. Oh, no, hang on. It's getting better there. Okay, that's kind of better. Um, well, have you discovered the cause of the Great Valu's anger? 
No, they haven't. I have no voice what to do. I know I don't have voice to do for the cheating, but... Ah, so you're a Toon Link, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Velu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Velu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Velu on Dragon Roost Island, and they'll be vulnerable to one Anakin Skywalker, who will go after all the fledglings. Not the fledglings! They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Yes, indeedy. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Toon Link with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Toon Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. Hmm, that may be... Let me be direct. My son, Kamali, is of the age to earn his wings, yet he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Why does he say my son twice in two sentences? It's kind of weird. Um, DJ, hello. This game is just, uh, I, I haven't played this game in so long, so this is just such like a joy to be experiencing all this again. Very, very nostalgic. Very nostalgic. Um, okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may be better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Will you find her and take it? I am counting on you. Here, Toon Link. Take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. We got a delivery bag used by the Rito Postman. And it has so many pockets. So it's kind of cool. Um... You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Velu to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Um, okay, so we will go upstairs to the upper rooms. Uh, let's see, I hear ticking. Can you hear ticking? Maybe I can only hear ticking. Now, we will go there, but I just want to check out this dude first, because uh, this was always a fun game. Well, now, I've not seen your young face here before. Nope, don't believe so. Hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? Yes, indeedy. Oh, excellent, that's good. But first, to see if I can use you or not, I need to give you a little test, just a small one. Match the seal on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf, and throw the letter onto that shelf. Real easy. Simple. Use a joystick to select a shelf and the A button to throw a letter. Like I said, simple. Is that clear? Uh, yes, indeedy. Before the time runs out, you have to sort at least ten letters. Ten letters? Give it your best shot. Right, green. Green. Pink or red. Green. Uh, beast thing. Green. Green. Other green. Beast thing. Yellow. Pink thing. Yellow thing. Sorry, beast thing. Bottle thing. Pink thing. Yellow thing. Sorry, I keep doing that though. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, jeepers. Sorry, I did press the stick, but it went the wrong way. That's my excuse. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. There, I just wasn't paying attention. Um, 
23 letters. Great, good, terrific. That's like something. Great, good, terrific. You pass. Sorry, I just bashed the microphone as well. You get one rupee for every two letters. So that comes to a total of 11 rupees. Am I right? Well, yeah, if you sting me out of the one remainder. Uh, come any time. I mean it. Better deal for the boast above. Okay, cool. Uh, can I speak to you again? Yes, indeedy. You understand, yes? If you saw 20 more letters, I'll give you some nice financial gain. Go ahead and get started. Right, bottle. Green. Thing. They've changed this sound slightly, I believe. I believe it was less dingy before. Oh, gosh. We're doing, like, corner to corner here. Oh, okay. This is a... a whoa! That was a nice combo. <laughs> oh. Well, this is going to be, like, a personal best. At this rate. Twenty-eight! That's very good! I think back in the day I got like an early thirties number, so I'll I'll happily accept that. Um splendid, super twenty-eight. Uh so that's twenty-eight rupees. Does he like give you a heart scale or anything? If anyone knows that off off uh off the top of your head, you are welcome to share that with me. Uh, that is something where I am indeed asking the question. Um, you know, like, do you get anything? I can't remember if it's just a mini game, or if it's just a way to get rupees, or if you can get a heart. I feel like you can get a heart piece, but maybe that's later on. I, I don't really know. Um, let's talk to Medley. Um, who... Oh, wow, do you really have green clothes in a... You really do have green... No, hang on, should I do American or English? No, I think I got American. Like... You really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're Toon Link, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit, Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. What am I thinking? Here, this is from the Chieftain. Toon Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. Da, 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 da. It's a father's letter addressed to his son. She is best girl. I think I've never really been like a furry or a scaly or anything like that. But I think the closest thing I probably ever came to becoming one or anything was maybe Medley when I was a kid. Because I always just sort of had, I sort of like, I was quite like, a, felt like an affection towards Medley. Not like a, a full on crush or anything, but I just, I always really liked Medley. I always just thought she was really cool. Um, okay, so. Um, so, when you want to take it out, you do the delivery bag, do all that stuff. The way that is the first floor, you have to go to a couple of steps. Uh, please don't get... He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Toon Link. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, we can hang out and play the not sponsor of this video, Rich. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, too, too many times, too many times. <laughs> too many times. I've ruined the joke. Um, so yeah, here we go. Down the steps. Um, let's... Oh, hold on. Well, I actually don't need to... Sorry, I don't actually need to go into the pause menu. I can just do this like this. Um, closest you got was TMNT. Oh, that's cool. It's Prince Kamali. And he's got the ball! The ball of light! Um... Let's just talk to him quick. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? I am your savior! With this letter. A, a letter? From my father? Uh, oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to get a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say you can calm Valu down? <laughs> That's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. 
I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to the loo, then I'll listen to anything you say. Aw, poor little dude. He's, he's a scatty boy. Um, so small, yes. Um, uh, hand over the bull, kid. <laughs> it's not... I agree. Uh, like, well, and we just completed the game. That, that's how the speedrunners do it. They, uh, they bully <laughs> little, uh, I forgot his name already. I'm gonna call him Ravali Jr. Um, <laughs> um, did it begin with an R? I can't even remember now. I can't remember his name. Um, little man, we'll call him little man. Um, I think Medley went this way, because this was where she was. Oh, yeah, here we go. Well, actually, no. Ooh, I just felt a buzz on the gamepad controller. I guess it's to be expected in this heat, but just take a look down there. Dragon Roost Pond is completely dried up. No. No. Um... Okay. I think this this place takes me. I know where this takes me. Um, Jelly, you gotta go, but come back later. Okay. I hope you're able to watch the replay. If if you are, if you can't watch the whole streams, I hope you do get to catch up on the replays and stuff because we've got a lot of fun stuff coming up. Um, so I think our plan for today. Okay, so it's two o'clock now. We'll be going for three hours. Maybe we'll try and do the dungeon. Maybe we have enough time to do the dungeon, and then once we do the dungeon, um, we'll maybe call it quits there. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how long it takes. Maybe we'll stop, like, before the first dungeon. Maybe we'll stop after the first dungeon. Um, I honestly can't remember how long everything takes, so, um, so we'll have to see. Oh, sorry, someone was trying to tell me earlier about the Wind Waker being on the left. Um, I see it on the D-pad now. Um, sorry, I did not know it was there on the D-pad, but I can see the D-pad the, on the top left corner of the screen, and it has the, um, the Wind Waker right there. Okay, look, he's looking off to the right, but what's he looking at? What could it be now? Okay, um, whoop. Medley. Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became so angry and in his rage he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me. How was Prince Kamali? Kamali! That's the one. I mean, Ravali! Kamali! Yes, Kamali. He was, uh... Uh, well... Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the Great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Toon Link, I'm sorry to ask you this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. Phew, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Then face that ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. All right, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Okay, so we're gonna pick her up. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go onto this rock. A nice detail in this game is um, Link's, like, legs, they kind of, like, if I sort of stand on, like, an uneven surface, he kind of has, like, one leg up and one leg down, you can kind of see. Like, one leg is extended and one leg is not. It's a really nice small detail. It's not something that I noticed by myself, but yeah. Right, here she goes. Oh, did she make it? Oh, she didn't make it. How did you not make that? 
Okay, that didn't exactly work. Let's try once more. Use the wind and throw me up to that ledge. Oh! Hang on, I know what to do. I think we have to wait for the wind to blow, like, on the gamepad. Hang on. There we go. Yeah. Go, go, go. Oh, no. Oh, it's blowing the wrong way. Oh, it, it blew the wrong way. Hang on a sec. Ugh. Hang on, Medley. I just remembered this. It looks like the wind's going that way, though. Oh, she made it. Okay. You can see, like, the dust particles were kind of blowing that way. So I was... I thought I did that the first time, but okay. Oh, thank you. I think I'll, now I'll be able to climb the dragon... Uh, climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I may be just an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me... Please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Ooh, we got a bottle. Now we can go back to that potion man. Um, nice. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. So, and um, please don't tell anyone of them climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. Right, so let's uh, get our bottle and put this on the Y button. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to get some some of this water. Okay, so we filled the bottle with water. It looks dry and withered. Um, and then we've got to go here. We've got to go here. Here we go. We're going to go up. And then... Oh, whoop, the joystick was doing wiggity-whack stuff there. Um, and then we're going to stand over one of these things. We're going to press the Y button. And we're going to douse this bomb plant, which was all dried up. And then look, here we go. Hang on, we're going to wait for the explosion. There we go. You can't just throw it right away. Oh, bit laggy there as well. Um, but we've got the spring. The spring. That can spring. And it's going to fill up. And then we can get here. Now, I don't know if we have to go back inside or whether we just follow her. Um, I honestly can't remember. So, we'll see. Um, okay. But here we go. Chat, if you if you remember if we like whether we have to go back inside or not, I'm just going to go for it. Um, but again, this might be one of those things where I'm remembering things and I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Um, oh. Oh, no, hang on. This is fine. I was like, oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. But... Oh, no. Hang on. I think we have to stand right on the edge here. There we go. That's one. And then... Of course, that was too far. Blur my neck. Okay, hang on. Nope. Nope, that's too short as well. Okay, hang on. I'll get this right in a second. I just need to... Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Oh, we hit it. We hit it. We hit it. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, right. Um, okay, we're two... We're like three hours and ten minutes in. Um... I think we can do this dungeon. Um, Dragon Roost Cavern. We will save our game, because we like to save 50 bajillion times here at Bovio Games. Um, so let's save. Let's save. Now saving. And continue playing. Okay, nice. So, um, hang on. We have to pull! Pull! Oh, we can't pull. Um... <laughs> Well, we can't seem to pull any. Oh, hang on. We can't pull it because uh, there's no space there to pull. But if we grab this. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Oh, I remember this. Hang on. One. Yeah. There we go. Nice. And we got the joy pendant. Nice. Uh, was there any other item? No. Are there any item? Are there any enemies hidden in these uh, pots and stuff? Probably no. Um, I noticed that this pot is different from the others. Does that mean there's anything interesting in there? Let's find out. Ow. There wasn't. Well, that sucks. Okay. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay. Hang on. We've got... Uh, let's just climb into this thing. 
Oh no, it's gonna spit us out. Okay, uh, but right. Uh, so there are there's an empty torch over here, and we got a stick. So let's pick up this stick and see if we can set it on fire. Oh wait, what the? Oh, we can set the stick on on fire. Who knew that? Whoa, look at that. Look at that for being. Whoa. Um. Okay. Um. So, oh, one thing we'll do actually. Um. We got a small key! Woo! So, okay, before we delve into this dungeon, let me just pause quickly, and then let me just pause the stream. Uh, I'll be right back, but I do just need to use the loo. So, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I am back! Hello there everyone! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so, let's uh, carry on in just a sec. I just remembered something. Um, I often shop at the 99 cent store, and I do remember like a couple of years ago, I went in one time, and they had like, it was like a, it was like a Wii U, it was like an off-brand, like, Wii U Pro Controller, slash, in it, but it also like worked on a Wii and stuff as well, I believe. Uh, it may have been a bit like a Wii gamepad type thing as well. I think it did work on, like, the Wii and the Wii U. It was kind of almost like the uh, classic controller, but it was, like, pro game controller. I, I can't remember what it was and how it worked or whatever, but if I ever saw one of those again, I'd be, and it, if it was, like, five bucks or something, um, I would be tempted to get one just to see what it's like and to, you know, like, if, if I saw one before I finished this challenge, that would be a funny thing to... Um, experiment with. But anyway, let's unpause, let's look at Link in all this wavy fire, and uh, use our key to open this door. Um, by the way, um, you might not be able to like hear this as much. Every once in a while, there's like a big rumbling, um, and you actually feel it in the gamepad as well. And basically, and actually I've kind of felt it like throughout the island, um, the dragon, Valu, um, it's him raging. He's getting very upset, he kind of rages and like thrashes about every once in a while, and um, and you, f you can actually feel it, which is kind of an interesting thing. So, okay, this is our first dungeon, Dragon Roost Cavern. Um, now, as you can see, there's a big rock here, but we have no way to bomb it. Um, and we have a key here, which we have no way to do. We're going to do the old left, 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 okay? Um, okay, hang on. Oop, oop. Oh, no, we can't make it. But look, there's a block here we can pull out. I don't really quite know what the point of this is, but anyway... Um, but I suppose that's like to illustrate that there are blocks we need to pull out. So let's go around this way, and then we'll go this way, and then there are bats! Get the bats! Ow! What are you, like mouse rats of the sky? Um, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no! Ugh, dang it. Um. Okay. Um. Oh, no, we're not... Oh, are we all the way back at the beginning? Oh, for the love of pizza. But the block is still there, so it remembers stuff, okay? It's not the end of the world. Um, so, one of the things I was actually trying to be careful of is um, if you see 
this like rope bridge, right? Um, you actually have to be very. Oh, whoa! I'm glad I didn't run and jump over that. Um, it, you can actually like cut the ropes, and it can actually make the bridge, like, you know. Hang on. Come on. Come, okay. It can actually make the bridge like collapse. You can actually collapse the bridge, so you have to be very careful. Um, can you imagine in Breath of the Wild, right? You can't use bombs in like any kind of like volcanic or lava like area. Um, because, uh, they just instantly blow up. Um, so it's nice that in this game we can actually use bombs here. That's good. Um, okay, so let's... Hang on. So these jugs contain water, right? They've got all the water sploosh marks on them. Um, and you have to throw these in the lava. And then you can jump over. Ooh! Oh, no, 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 no! What? What? Link! Toon Link! How did you mess that up? How did you mess that up? It was two feet in front of you. Um, okay, let's try this again. Ugh. Right, there we go. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Yes, Death Mountain flashbacks. Um, we got the map. Um, okay, so we can. So I can see the map on the uh, Wii U gamepad. I don't really think we're gonna need the map too much because this is like the first dungeon. It, it, it's like not a big deal um but let's hang on let's zoom out a bit um and then we'll oh hang on we'll let go and we'll beat this enemy quick um this is a red chew will it give us a red chew jelly <gasps> no it didn't it only gave us a heart oh well that's 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 not ideal um but okay that's fine um let's just keep on uh you gotta keep always make sure you turn the camera around behind you so you can fully look around okay uh, so let's see. So we've got... Oh, ow, 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 ow. Very rude. Oh, why you gotta be so rude? To quote Sarah Miller Cruz. Um, but look, he left behind a big old sword. You know, it's funny because there's this part of me which wonders... Would I be able to... Like, would kids be able to figure this out? I know that sounds weird, but like... Leaving that sword behind and hitting it, that's not the most obvious thing to me, to be honest. But, um... Oh, hang on a minute. We can pick up the sword. Can we break this open with the sword? Ow, hang on. Yes, we can. Okay, nice. And then we've got these chews. There we go. I chew, chew, choose you. Oh, red jelly. There we go. Da, 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 da. Um, in your spoils bag. There we go. So there we go. So we've got red chew jelly. Um, we can go back to the potion man later and show him all this chew jelly we're getting. He was obsessed with chew jelly. Um, so there we go. But yeah, we needed to get into this gap here. Let's grab this sword, even though we probably don't need it anymore. Um, and we will... Oh, hang on. Yeah, one. And... Ow, two. Um, will this give us a heart? No, it gave us red shoes. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, back out here we go. And then... Hang on a minute. Let's... There we go. We'll set off a chain reaction. I'm in the middle of a chain reaction, if anyone knows that song. Um, and, um, oh, here we go. Here's like a door. Oh, and we're right back at, oh, so sorry, hang on. This is right back at the beginning. I just looked at my map. Um, but yeah, so this was the key door that we passed at the beginning, the one that we previously couldn't unlock. So we've gone round in a circle, and now we're here in this uh, key door. But let's uh, just beat these chew jellies very quickly, uh, very quickly. Um, there we go. Um, there we go, and there we go. Okay, nice. Um, let's beat up this guy who was trying to get the sneak attack on us, but I was onto him. Um, he didn't even lay a finger on us. Didn't lay a finger on us. Now, um, notice that we have a stick here, and with sticks there are f with with sticks come fire, and with fire comes wood, and with wood comes burning, burning burning and then we hit the switch and there we go nice and simple um so okay oh and then outside we go so now we're outside this isn't just a cavern we go outside the cat <gasps> the birds Peter. no i i didn't i was like holding forward and it's still like that still pushed me off the edge that's really annoying no, 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 no. There we go. Yeah, get out of it, you. 
I'm so worried about the, the lowest griffin. The, the lo we're going to call them the lowest griffins. Get it? Because it's like a bird. Oh, hang on. Lava, don't spill. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Ooh, see that? Ooh, you have to be so careful. Um, bird. Bird. Ooh, get out of it, bird. Oh, hang on. Don't drop the feather. Don't drop the feather. Oh, I dropped the feather. Oh, did that fall off the edge? Oh, dang it. We lost the feather. Oh, well. Um, right, hang on. Side all. Zoom out. We're going to just wait. We're going to do this patiently. Okay. Dun 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 Uh, I think most people in here are, like, in their 20s or whatever. And then they're, like, some 30s and a couple of teens or whatever. But it doesn't matter what age you are. Anyone of any age can enjoy things here at Bovio Games. Um, okay. Um, do be careful with the personal questions. Um, I will just say that. No, it, it, like, it's fine to say your ages, but just don't go any further in detail than that kind of thing. Don't don't be spreading your birthdays too much and stuff. I know I know sometimes it would be like, oh, it's my birthday next week or whatever. Or it's my birthday today or whatever. Uh, in fact, I forgot to say it. Like, hey, and hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if it's your birthday, happy birthday. But um, but um, but yeah, still. Um, hang on, hang on. It, OBS disconnected, reconnecting. What? Let me know if the strict reconnection successful. I don't know what that's about. Hopefully the stream's okay. Um, Toon Link, have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? Let me know if, um, I'll just put in chat. Um, yeah, let me know. Okay, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I don't know if, um, sorry about that. I had a message on my screen, like a Windows message, saying like OBS disconnected. Never seen it before, but like a little thing in the corner, you know, you know like when like your USB, you unplug your USB and there's like a little message in the corner. It's like, oh, USB disconnected or something. Uh, or like, like, oh, do you want to update this? It was like that. It was like OBS disconnected. It was like, what do you mean disconnected? And then it was like, oh, it's reconnected. So, um, sorry about that. Uh, no idea what that was, but let's carry on. Um, Toon Link, have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? I know they're annoying, but keep your wits about you. They're only rats. If you spread bait near their nest, they may, may share their store of treasure with you. Why don't you try it? Well, I did buy a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, bait, but let's just KO them instead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, give me rupees. Oh, there you go. There's ten. Nice. Um. Okay. So we're gonna climb up. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna hit these pots. Mrs. Pots. Um. Oh, the stream's getting laggy. Um, don't know why. Um, da -da -da -da, we got the compass. Nice. Okay, as long as the audio doesn't get choppy, that is the main thing. I don't worry so much if the visual isn't perfect. But, um, but right, we're going to throw our... Ow. For the, lo for the love of Nelly. Hang on. Hang on. Come on, come on. Face the thing. There we go. You have to sit, stick on fire and you have to throw it. Um, I don't know if you really get, hopefully you get a key for this. I imagine this is a key. Um, but yeah. Come on. Da, 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 da. Yes, we got a key. Okay. Um, but yeah, so visual, visual lags are like the one I don't mind. The, if the audio goes, that's kind of a problem. Because that kind of defeats a lot of the point of the stream. Uh, okay. Oh, back out we go. Okay. Um, oh, I hear the lo like Peter. <laughs> Peter, 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 Peter. Uh, we're not even going to try and take that on. I think it's silly to try and take that on. Wait, do we not have a key? Oh, no. We do have to take this on. Ugh. Bird. Bird. But we got the key. That is quite clever, actually, to hide the key in the nest, I think. Um, right, come here, bird. Come on. Ow. There we go. Come on. 
Give me the feather. Give me the feather. Oh, I mean, it's a rupee, but... So, I mean, that's probably not a bad thing. But yeah, birds give you feathers. Um, who knew? Um, okay, let's um, let's get a stick, light it on fire. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat the bats. Um, and then light this on fire. And then we'll throw this. And then, hang on, we'll get this um, chest quickly, because there might be a key in here. Oh, Joy Pendant. Okay, well, that wasn't quite as exciting, but... Um, pick it up. Grab the heart. Go this way. Hang on, let's light our torches quick. There we go. Nice. It's all coming back to me. Like, like, like 20 years ago. Um, oh, I suppose I never really talked about the story of how I got this game and stuff. Maybe I should do that very quickly. Um, oh, hang on. Drop, 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 drop. Um, so it's really funny. Uh, my friend William, who I've mentioned a couple of times on stream, one of my best friends uh, from England, we'd go to each other's houses and stuff. And when I got the GameCube, um, I really loved uh, Star Fox Adventures on the GameCube. And he was like, oh, it's, it, it's, it's like Zelda, basically. Like, it's really it's like, if you like Star Fox, you like Ocarina of Time. And so when I went to his house, I like watched him kind of like do a bit of a playthrough of Ocarina of Time. Like he, he kind of started a new file and he did like the first dungeon or whatever. And then he was like, I'll get us to like, you know, like the next dungeon or whatever. And the next week, you know, we can, well, the next time we can do the next dungeon or whatever, you know. So it was cool. And I kind of watched him play like, like a good like half the game or whatever. I don't think we did the whole thing that way, but we did like half of it. We did up to like the forest temple or something like that. Um, and um, hang on a sec, I just need to check which way. Which way have I been and which way have I not been? I think this is the way I need to go. And then these two doors. Um, there's like that door. There's a door over there I've not been to. And then there's a door this way that we haven't been to. So let's go, let's do this. Um, but I, I liked Ocarina of Time. And then basically, um, at least in Europe, um, they released on the GameCube The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And included free on it. And this was just kind of like for anyone. It wasn't like limited to any store or like pre-orders only or anything um they had the ocarina ocarina of time ported to the gamecube included for free and i was like oh well you know like two games in one for like you know again price of one game two two games in one um that's brilliant and i i wanted to play ocarina of time for myself and i was like i might as well get like the new game as well um so i got the like dual discs kind of like specifically for Ocarina of Time and though I sort of played this first I sort of then was like okay but now let's play Ocarina like I've played I've played Wind Waker for an hour or so let's play um let's play Ocarina and obviously I had to do all the like the fortress stuff which you know sneaking around the fortress which wasn't that great um and that fun you know like Ocarina of Time does have a better uh, start to the game I would say uh than this game does and um there we go um Joy pendant, nice. Um, and um, so Ocarina has a better start, but then like I got to Kakariko Village, and I just wasn't really like that hooked, or I didn't really know like what to do, and I sort of kind of and I kind of like flipped back and forth between like Ocarina and and Wind Waker as I was playing both of these games. But I got to Kakariko and kind of didn't really know what to do, and like wasn't sure and blah blah blah. Um, and then. Um, and then, but I was getting hooked into Wind Waker. Like once I got to Windfall Island, and I um, once I got to Windfall Island, and once I got to uh, you know Dragon Roost Island, here to Dragon Roost Island, I just I kind of preferred Wind Waker more. I was having more fun with Wind Waker, and I kind of made the choice. It was like you know what, I'm gonna just like stick with Wind Waker, and I'll do Ocarina rather than juggle two games. I'm gonna just play one, and so I stuck with Wind Waker, and I absolutely loved it. And then so th so this was like my first Zelda game. Um, this was like my first Zelda game, and then I did go and do Ocarina afterwards and had fun with that and had a better time with that. And I think, yeah, take, I think doing them uh, one at a time uh, definitely ended up like working better. Oh, no, 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 Link, what are you doing? Toon Link. He just, I was trying to like pick up that bug. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they just, uh... hang on a sec. Come on. Come on, bug. Whoop! There we go. There we go. Um, the old, 
the old sunshine A button reaction thing. Oh yeah. Um, okay. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I think like here in the states there was like a special pre-order bonus, but I don't know. In the UK, I felt I feel like it was more of just like the norm for a while. You can ultimately get it like separately, but um, the, like ultimately you could get the game separately, but for a long time the like ocarina version was like more um more like the more common version um but um but yeah so i kind of just ended up drifting towards this game more and so you know when i'm choosing a favorite i i find it hard to choose between like this and ocarina and twilight princess i do think skyward sword is a bit below those three the, the three that trio of games but um but i do think that um but I do think it's still a very good game. I don't think it's... Some people think Skyward Sword's a bad game. I think it's a very good game. Um, I think it's excellent. Um, oh, there we go. There's the final pot. Um, I'm not going to go in that pot because we know what's going to happen, where it goes. Basically, the, the pots, they take you to... If you want to go to somewhere else earlier in the dungeon, you go in the pots. That's the, um, the way that this works. Um, right, so as you can see, over there, if we click in... Um, or actually, we use the telescope, in fact... Um, there is a big door with a big key, but we can't go over there with a big door and a big key. So we have to go back out this way. We haven't been in this direction, so let's go this way. Um, so, um, but yeah, but I ended up drifting more towards this game, and I loved Ocarina as well, but I'm kind of glad that this was my first one. Um, and, um, oh wow, we can actually hear Valu the dragon now. Uh, be very, very angry. We're getting quite close to him. Um... So, I think... Uh, okay, hang on. Whoa! <gasps> Medley! We've got the boss music. Hang on, I've got a shield here. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to attack. Because I, I thought I was waiting for him to attack me. But, um... The only thing that's a bit annoying is it's hard to get a four-hit combo off because usually just one of them kind of, like, misses. Um, oh, no, a, a, a moblin. Have we even taken on a moblin yet? We haven't, have we? We've seen them, but we haven't taken them on. Where's that joy pendant go? I want the joy pendant. There we go. Right, hang on. Come on, come on. Come on, attack me. There we go. Yeah! Yes, there we go. Okay. Um, you have to wait for him to attack, and then ha-ha, and then he's like, ah, oh, my bum, my bum, my bum, and then ha-ha, we got it. Oh, come on, come on. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, there we go. Um, there we go. So, but Skyward Sword, Skyward Sword's a fantastic game as well. Um, these little balls, if you hit them, uh, there's like loads of stuff in them. Um, and then we've got... And then we've got the skull necklace. There we go. Keep that in Spore's bag. Um, so there we go. Um, and yes. Okay. Let's... All right. Let's talk to Medley and see what she says about Valu. So, Toon Link, you came to rescue me. Oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found out. This is terrible. Some creature is doing awful things to the great Valu's tail. That's why he's so angry. Yeah, like that. Um, the Great Valu's tail hangs down into the, uh, the room right below here. I thought I said thought zoom. I was like, what? Um, so there's got to be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. We've got to do something now before it's way too, before it's too late. She's like so close to his face. It's very intimate. I'll go and tell everyone what's happening. Here, Toon Link. Use this to get out of here. It's what I used to get this far. It's a device we Rito used before we get before we evolve wings. No, 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 no! It's the grappling hook. This item was used by the Rito people before they had wings. Uh, set it to Y, X, or R on the item screen, and then use the button to aim, and then use the item to latch on to anything with the blah sign on it. Um, and you can even use it to haul things from the sea floor while you're in your boat. So this was the grappling hook that was mentioned earlier, that was foreshadowed earlier. Here, Toon Link. Climb up on that little ledge over there so I can show you something. Um, okay, so hang on. Let me just go on to my items. We'll go on to my items quick before we go back to the map. So let's put the grappling hook... But let's put it on the... No, let's put it on the X button. X is good. X feels right. 
Um, okay, so we're going to go onto the little ledge here, and she's going to show us something. Here we go. So, grab this branch with the grappling hook, and you can swing over there to get out of this area. When you aim at a branch, and then you can latch onto it, it will appear. Remember, so in the GameCube, one thing I know that's going to be better about this. Um, don't worry about me. Um, oh, we can just do this with the gamepad rather than the stick. I'm using the motion control. That's cool. Um, this animation is, like, way quicker and way snappier. Um, in the uh, GameCube version, this animation is, like, a lot slower. Um, so that's one thing that's pretty cool about this version of the game. Um, and the motion control. But having that motion control is very good. I don't know if you can adjust the sensitivity. I know I said that earlier, but I don't know if there is a way to do that. Uh, but we'll have to see. Um, right, hang on. Let's go back to the map. Um, and then we'll go back into here. Um, Jelly Ducky. Hey, Bo, can I tell you my favorite colors? Uh, sure thing. No one... I, I do not have any kind of law in the rules or the chat that you are not allowed to uh, to tell me your favorite colors. Um, I mean, I guess I appreciate the sort of politeness with which you asked. But, um, but yeah, no, don't worry. You, uh, you're not in... You won't be... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. You won't be in trouble if you tell me your color. Um, so, uh... They are lawn clippings, leather couch, two to one shampoo, and conditioner in orange. Okay, interesting. Um, right, okay. Um, hang on a sec. I gotta find out something here. Hang on. Right, we can we can go we can go this way, but we don't have the key. So we need to get the key. Hang on, let's just get these chests. Da 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 da. We got a nice crest. Nice. Um, oh, one thing when we fight enemies now um, is we, we'd be wise to use our grappling hook on them because um, they can give you items. Um, hang on, can we... Oh, gosh, hang on. Hang on, this thing is being very rude. Whoop! Oh, hang on, what the heck? Come on. Come on, come on. I'm pressing the A button at the right time. Ugh, whatever. Okay. Um, no, no, let go, let go, let go, let go. Right, there we go. Um, Sophie, hi, lovely to see you. No worries about uh, the uh, traveling. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Which way do we want to go here? Um, hang on, here's the thing. Maybe we are supposed to go in the pot. I know I was like, ah, but maybe we should actually go in the pot. That does seem like the best way to go at this time. So let's go in the pot. Let me just check my map, actually. Because there are a couple of places. Yeah, let's actually utilize the pot. Um, after earlier saying, ah, we don't need to use that pot. But let's actually utilize it because um, there are a couple of places down here that we can, like, now go. Oh, hang on. I was like, if we see enemies, see, if you... If you use the grappling hook on them, um, you steal their items. And sometimes when you beat an enemy, um, you don't, like, normally when you beat these guys, you get a joy pendant, right? But not every time you beat them. So the guaranteed way to get joy pendants from these enemies is to steal their items. Um, so there you go. The more you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So generally, we are going to, if we can remember, um, generally, we are going to, um, like, steal enemies... For, uh, steal items from enemies. Just gonna go this way very quickly. Apparently there was an item uh, in this direction. Oh, hang on a minute. I feel like maybe we need like a sword or a stick or something. Just give me one second. There we go. We want to get these jellies. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Not to be confused with uh, with commenter in the chat, Jelly, but, um, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, there we go, right, where is your stick, give me your stick, okay, hang on, there we go, we'll get the stick, we'll set the stick on fire, we'll go this way, okay, and then we've got to throw it, okay, nice, then we'll go this way, and then we'll go this way, nice, cool, and then we get a free item, whoa, we get a big old item here.
It's the more you bow. Da 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 da. Um, so we got a treasure map. Very nice. Man, this gamepad thing is great. I love it. Uh, motion controls, baby, way of the future. But in the past, because this game is ten. This game, this remake is ten years old. The Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker is a twenty-year-old game, and this remake of this twenty-year-old game is ten years old. Like, what? I, I kind of forget the Wii U is like ten years, like over ten years old now. Uh, I guess the, the Switch's lifespan has just been like so long. Um, that um, that yeah. Right, hang on, we're gonna. Oh, look, see, we're cutting the bridge ropes, and you can, like, you can screw yourself up, so just be careful, okay? Oh, Lois. Lois is mad. Here, Peter. We took the mystery box. Right, okay, come on. Right, so now we're going to get a feather from one of these birds, right? Come on. There we go. Aha! Da, 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 da. So we got the golden feather. So yeah, anytime we see enemies, or, or at least like but certain kinds of enemies, um, we want to. Um, ow! 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 There we go. Um, yeah. So when we see certain kinds of enemies, we do want to try and nab their items. Hold on. Let's just. The Wii U is pretty ancient, to be honest. I know it is. I mean, the problem with the Wii U is that it was, like, old tech, like, when it came out. I mean, the Switch is, to be honest, as well. But, um... Oh, we can go over there. Is there anything over there? Uh... Oh, hang on a minute. No, okay. Um... Don't tell me we have to do this puzzle again. I mean, this wasn't a puzzle. It was just pulling blocks, but... We only really need to actually do one side of this. Before I did, like, both sides. But you only actually need to do one side. Um, there we go. Okay, nice. Um, the Switch is so popular because it's a handheld. Yeah, that, I mean, the Wii U walked so that the Switch could run kind of thing. Um, and it's... And that's the thing. Well, I mean, the Switch has, like, a... Fa I mean, the thing is, the Wii U and the Switch have a fantastic library of games. And when you take that and you make it, like, portable and playable on the television uh that's really good and really awesome and really fantastic and that is just the switch's success in a nutshell and um and nintendo would be crazy to oh uh well nintendo would be crazy to ever give up on the sort of hybrid model now i, do, I don't think they'll ever go back to i doubt they'll go to just like handheld and like console again like separating them um i mean it's kind of weird because it kind of does like limit them in some ways in terms of what they can do in future but I don't know, like, if they can come up with anything innovative within the realm of, like, handheld console hybrid, uh, then awesome. Uh, that would be really cool. Uh, just anything to kind of improve that experience or whatever. Uh, anything sort of unique and nifty and whatever, but we'll have to see what they do. Um, but that's the thing, like, people are forgiving um, towards it because, like, again, they, like, I, for me, Nintendo are the epitome of, like, you don't need to have, like, the best specs and the best this and the best everything else. You just need to have a good game. And as long as, and, like, yes, like, it needs to run at, like, a good frame rate. But 30 frames per second, like, for a lot of games, is a good frame rate. Um, so, um, hold on a minute. I am going the wrong way here. Hold on. I am doing this wrong. Um, oh... Oh, bless me. Um, and hang on again. I feel like I probably should have used that second vase pot thing rather than just go back to the first one, but oh well. Um, hang on, is there a treasure chest in this room? It says there's a treasure chest in here. Did I not, like, get a treasure chest? I'm very com Oh, for the love of pizza! Um, hang on. Oh, I didn't joy pendant it. Okay, well, hang on. We can joy pendant this guy. Hang on. There we go. Um, Got to remember to joy pendant. Um, nope, not you. Here we go. I forgot to... I didn't notice this fire. Um, 
Oh, thank you for all the uh, Gesundheit. Well, Fishy's funny, uh, fun, always funny spelling of like Gesundheit. And then, um, and then everyone's bless you. Thank you so much. Um, so, um, but yeah, so, but Nintendo, like, they make good games and like that, that, you know, and they, and that's what they focus on. And it's why basically like Super Mario Sunshine is such a funny game because the lack of Nintendo polish on it shows and it, and basically like, I think there is a reason why it's like the sort of least favorite generally, uh, 3D Mario game. Um, because it does lack that Nintendo polish that we are sort of all so accustomed to now. We are back in the same room that we were in earlier. This does not, uh, bode well. Um, hang on a sec. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, no, 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 don't! Oh, Toon Link! Um. Okay, um. Oh, for the... Come on, come on. Just, like, either, like, either let me KO you, right? Look. It's like, A. I press A. Okay, there we go. No, no, no. <laughs> um, it's because it's a German word. If you're not sort of super familiar with Ger If you're not, like, super familiar with German, it's, um, it's, like, less intuitive to know how to spell it and stuff. So, it's fine. Um, I used to, I used to always, I, I used to always find it funny. It's a funny, like, phonetic spelling and stuff of it. Um, ow, 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 ow. Um, come on, up we go. Okay, so we're back up here. Um, in this room. Okay, here's where I'm a bit confused. I feel like, oh, no, 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 I know what now. No, I know what to do. I know what to do, I know where to go, I... Hang on. Uh, I just went back in the door. I came in. Um, sorry, I remember what to do and where to go now. At least I think I do. Um, basically, there are the stairs in like that direction, but then in this direction, we have these things, and that's what I'm missing out on. That's what I'm forgetting. About. Um, quick tip with this: you kind of generally want to stand on the outside and then uh, use your uh, rope. Okay, so don't stand like on the inside and then do this because you'll just swing all the way over there. You want to stand on the edge, on the outside, and then kind of angle your grapple inwards. Okay, um, there we go. Sorry, I remembered. I was like, you, you, the, you, you use the grappling hook outside. Um, but yeah, yes, I, I agree, Satella. But I'm not going to say the thing that I'm agreeing to out loud because I don't want to jinx it. But they are doing well. I'm in charge this weekend once again. Um, and in spite of everything, they are doing, they're doing well. Um, okay, whoop. Yeah, you thought I needed to use the A button, but I could use B. Um, the Bs! Okay, um, so, uh, this is actually a good example of where, um, hang on a sec. If we have our ropes here, if we cut the ropes, hang on a sec. Whoop, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, so you can cut rope bridges, and uh, but you have to be careful. In this room, it's encouraged because it's the way you get this joy pendant. But um, but generally, uh, you want to be careful. You want to be careful. Okay, right. So we're gonna go this way, back into the central room here, and then here we go. We got this cage. Um, so we just did a spin attack. I think when I was a kid, I was a bit confused by this, and then I can't remember. I, maybe I figured it out. Oh, there we go. Yep, you do a spin attack. Well. And then that's how you get that down. And then we just need to do a bit of the old lefty-righty and righty-lefty. Um, let me go this way. Um, okay. So hang on, where do we wanna go? Okay, so there's a door here with stuff. But there is like a big swingy, oh, hang on, big swingy thing. Yeah, there we go, right. Swing! There we go. And if we hold on to that, there we go. Um, one thing we can do here, we can go sort of forward, right? If we, we can go forward and back like this, but what you can also do as well is, oh no, oh no, hang on. Oh, the bit, the bats, the bats, the bats. Crud, 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 crud. Okay, no time for showing off. Sorry, I was gonna show off, but, um, but if you hold the ZR button, you can see in the corner there, like ZR stops. You can actually turn around 
on a rope and like change the angle that you're swinging at. But we had no time for that. No time for such a thing. Oh, we're, and I'm actually going to demonstrate it here. Um, oh, hang on. Whoop. If I... Here we go. There you go. So you hold ZR and then you, uh, and then you can turn around. And you can actually uh, sort of lengthen and shorten the amount of rope as well. So you can actually like climb up the rope or extend it downwards if you want like a bit of extra length. Like that was a little bit close for call. So I could have like lowered myself down a bit there just to add a bit more rope. Uh, maybe I can show that off in a sec, but right, hang on. Man, this, this like, get, oh man, this motion control is fantastic. I love it. It's so natural. Works perfectly. Um, Shebertooth, hello. Lovely, 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 lovely to see you. Um, so we are busy in the throes of, of evil bugs and things. Um, hang on, we need this dude. Come on, bug dude. Okay, hang on. Hang on. There we go, right, you get one hit in, and then we, come on, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. And then we want to stand here, and we want to press ZR to drop, and then that presses the switch. Here we go, and then we've got... Caitlin, hello, hi. Um, we got the big key, we got the big key. Um, okay, so we are getting very close to the end of the dungeon um and then maybe i think there's a little bit of stuff we do after the dungeon and then we'll kind of call that it so like when we're about to set sail for the um ow, 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 stop being on fire um when we're about to set sail for like our next island i think that's probably where we'll call it a, a call it quits for today uh we'll do more than just beat the dungeon like we'll, we'll play a little bit after we beat the dungeon just to kind of like finish off this island you know um Let's do this. Right, we're going to stop. Oh, see here. Hang on. Right here, we're like too low down, right? Like if we start swinging, we're just going to bump into the wall. So what we need to do is we need to reel in this rope a little bit, and then we need to go back and forward. Um, so you hold ZR, and then you press like forward or back on the joystick. And then, well, mm, this might not be long enough now, but... Oh, no, we did it. We did it. Excellent. Okay. Um, oh, hang on. How do we... Oh, hang on, here we go. Let's go down the ladder. And then we'll go this way, and we'll go this way, and we'll go this way. Oh, hang on. Oh. I think I may hear something uh, coming outside that Satella was talking about a, a minute ago. Um, but okay, let's just wait for this. Oh, sorry, the... the um, dang, the frame rates are dropping on the thing. Again, on my OBS, it's saying like... 30 frames a second. No frames dropped. Uh, so I do apologize if it's getting a little, a wee bit laggy. Um, there we go. Hang on. I just want this guy. I want to lure this guy in so we can get him too. There we go. Nice. Okay. And then we're going to grab this and this. Oh, uh, so as we approach the end of the screen, please hit that like and subscribe button because I haven't asked that in a while and I keep forgetting. And uh, yeah. Um, but please, if you've been watching for like the nearly four hours now, please hit that thumbs up button. This is like the first episode. It's all very important and all that lovely, amazing and cool stuff. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, okay. Right, we're getting very close to the end of the dungeon now. Uh, again, stand on the outside, angle it inwards. Rather than, rather than inside to out, we want to do outside to win, okay? Otherwise, you could just like careen yourself off the edge. Yeah, these animations are so much quicker as well. The animation of the rope wrapping around the um, the thing is so much slower in the GameCube one. I would look up a comparison. It's quite an interesting thing. Okay, the boss is this direction, if I just have a quick glance at my map. Um, but okay. And then... Right, so we're back here. Here we go. Oh man, the animation and the motion control is great. Uh, so here we go, we've got the big key. We're going to use the big key and the big door. There we go. Um, and here we go. So we are in the boss room. Um, let's just look up. There's the, there's the great Valu's tail. Um, Ooby doo. I want to be like Valu. Ooh, ooh. Um, I want to talk like Valu. Walk like Valu. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You see, it's true. Ooh, ooh, that a wheels on but are us. Um, okay. Here we go. Oh, something's coming from the lava. That, that is that is the game being laggy there. That wasn't me. 
Um, whoa, look at this thing. It's like a big arachno skeletal arachno. Wow. Whoa, Satella, a 1069 super chat. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Um, that's incredible. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Ah, we're trying to hit it in the eye. And it doesn't, um, ah. Okay, hang on. What do we do? Uh, hang on. We can grab onto Valu's tail. Sorry, Valu. I need to borrow your tail, buddy. Rawr. Satella, thank you so much. That's incredibly kind of you. That's so brilliant. 1069, thank you so much. Um, oh, well, look, the rock. We, oh, we, we cracked it. We, oh, we cracked that hard exterior. Okay, um, let's jump back down. Okay, so we can't hit it in the eye, but if we grip on Valu's tail, it seems like we can do some damage to it. Okay, um, oh, we very, this game does get very laggy, like this Wii U version. I had heard about this. Oh, ow, 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 how rude. Why you gotta be so rude? Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, he's stuck, he's stuck, he's stuck. Valu, Valu. Okay, here we go. Ah, hang on, Valu. I'm sorry, ow. Did he just hit me in the air? Ow, that's that's very rude. Um, Valu, get him, get him, Valu. <sighs> okay, if I know anything about video games, which I kind of don't, um, I know that all good video game bosses come in threes. So, we've got it, we've hit him once. We've hit him twice. But can we hit him a third time? He's got, he's hit the rock back up to the ceiling. Um, come on, bug dude. Oh, hang on, he's stuck, he's stuck, he's stuck. Valu! Ow! Ow, 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 that was... No, hang on, the gamepad's all wiggity-whack. Hang on, the gamepad's all wiggity-whack. Gamepad! Stop being wiggity-whack. There we go. Oop. Ow, did he hit me in midair? I don't know. Right, ooh, come on. Three, two, one. And there we go. That is how you do it, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Very nice. Uh, unless this actually isn't the end of the fight. And actually, we still got a whole lot more to do. Ah, run, Toonlink, run! Get the heart. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Hang on, how do we jump? Oh, the A button. I'm, I'm pressing uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I'm pressing Tears of the Kingdom buttons. No, no, no. Yeah. We've got to grapple his face in. And then we got to hit him. Hit, 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 hit. There we go. Nice. No, no. Target him, Toon Link. Target him. There we go. Ugh. Come here. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. He's mad. He's stark raving mad. Oh, ah! We got him! Oh, wow, you only need to, like, hit him in the face with the grappling hook. That's kind of cool. Um, is that it? He's going dark. He's going ghost. Yes, the classic music. Ba -ba -boom. Actually, no, this is this music original to this game? It's kind of similar to the Ocarina one. I think this is original, because they have this in Twilight Princess, but I think this might be original to this game. Let me know if this bit of music when you beat a boss is, I think this might originate in this game. They have this in Twilight Princess as well. And I think maybe even Skyward Sword. But look, the lava, the lava has solidified. The wind is picking up, get it? Because it's the Wind Waker. Um, I don't really, we don't really need that heart. But look, we got a full piece of heart. Our, heart it, 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 our, our life energy has been increased by one. Plus your life gauge has been replenished. So it's the three hearts in the corner are now four. Um, so lovely. Um, excellent. Right, let's go in here. And let's, let's make like hockey players. And ride a whirlwind out of here. <laughs> you thought I was going to say something else. Uh, so there we go. Kaboom, Zander says as well. Um, yes. Uh, Satella, again, thank you so, so much. That's really, really sweet and lovely of you. I hugely appreciate it. That's very kind. Um, I, again, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry that I wasn't able to fully be nice to you. Um, just because it, 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 it was like, it was at the beginning of the boss, and I was like, ah, no. Um, so thank you so much. That was really kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, right, Valu. Valu. Um, good job, Toon Link. I agree. You did it, Toon Link. You did it. Um, again, apologies if there's any lagginess on the stream. I ain't doing that. Um, that ain't me. Um, Toon Link. Toon Link. Sorry, I did that in English. Um, well, Prince Kamali, don't you have something you want to say? 
Oh, this music, man, I love it. Um, I I heard everything from Medley. Two Link, thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I can be like you someday, Toon Link. You will, Kamali. I just know it. Right, Toon Link? <gasps> so, Toon Link. Here. I want you to take this, Toon Link. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. <gasps> we got... Den's Pearl! This is the gem the Rito's claim was passed down from the Great Goddess. <laughs> um, yay! Valu! Valu! The Great Valu is thank grateful to you, Toon Link. So. <laughs> um. That means subscribe to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, no, it, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, fun, fun fact: um, if you play this game on the heroes mode, uh, in, in the GameCube game, you had to beat the game once to unlock the heroes mode. In this game, it looks like the heroes mode is available immediately upon playing the game. Um, if uh, you play the game in heroes mode, or on that, or at least in the GameCube on that second playthrough, but I, I believe it is just the heroes mode. Um, this old ancient Hylian language is translated into English. They actually, these, like, these aren't, like, written in, you know, like, these symbols or anything. You actually get to read what the characters are saying here. Um, and so on this particular bit of text, he's uh, saying that this stream is not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Um, so there we go. Uh, so, but yeah, but, just, but so it's really funny because they actually say stuff and then other characters kind of say the stuff again, like here. So she's like, use the wind god's wind? That's what he said, but I don't understand what it means. The Wind God's Wind. I wonder if he's talking... What he's talking about has anything to do with the Wind Shrine that's through that tunnel. Oh, I almost forgot. The Great Valu also names you, Toon Link, a true hero. I agree with him. As far as we're concerned, Toon Link, you really are a hero. Well, I'm going to go and visit Valu. I'll come and see you sometime, with the best pair of wings ever. Run, 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 run. Hey, Prince Kamali. Th thanks so much, Toon Link. See you again someday. Ah, see ya, Medley. She's running. Even with, like, it, that instrument on her back, she's, like, running, running, running. Um, hang on, let's let's go see Beedle very quickly. We have 235 rupees. That's a, that's a lot of rupees. Come on, Toon Link, get up. Um... Oh, okay, we just got pears and bait. Well, I don't really care about that. I, well, actually, no. Mm, I suppose we could have bought some bait, couldn't we? Eh, let's just buy some bait quickly. Um, I know we already have, like, a bajillion bits of bait. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's his voice. Um, there we go. I'll buy it. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Bye. Um, thanks, my dude. Um, Okay, um, so, um, we have the pearl, but we have one more thing to do. Uh, like they said, there are some, uh, there are some things here. There's some things and some stuff. Um, so let's go this way, and then we'll use our wind waker, which is up on the D-pad. Um, check. So there appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Here we go. Maybe we could have done this right away. I don't know, but oh, okay. <clears throat> so, there we go. We learned the wind's requiem, and this changes the direction of the wind. The wind. Um, and look, it's Tornadus from Pokemon Black and White. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. Ah, ah! The name's Zephos, though some call me uh, Thunderous. I'm the god of... Oh, no, Tornadus, actually. Sorry, I did say Tornadus. I'm the god of winds. So, you're the new Wind Waker, are you? Ah, ah. Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. The tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing. 
or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, it saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos is miffed about his monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. Bye! <laughs> well, he was a... He was certainly a fellow and a half, wasn't he? Um, okay. So, um, there we go. We have, uh, beaten the first a dungeon. Um, so let's talk to our friend, the King of Red Lions. Oh, here we go. Hmm. It would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place. But that would mean... There is no time to lose. We must depart at once for the place where the next pearl sleeps. We sail to the south. Um, so hang on, so what we need to do is, hang on, let's just check the map, let's check... Okay, so the wind is blowing to the east, and yes, we need to go to the, uh, south. So let's get the Wind Waker out, and do our song. Here we go. And... Oh! Oh, okay, hang on. Why, why isn't that going... Go, go south. Okay, that's weird. In the GameCube game, you just hold the direction you want to go. There I had to press, like... Oh, left and right on the joystick. Oh, I can do it on the touch screen as well. That's kind of nifty. Um, right, there we go. Nice. Right. Um, oh, hang on. There's a bunch of maps on my... Um... Ah. Hang on. I'm just opening a bunch of maps on my bottom screen. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, oh, hang on a sec. There's one thing I just want to, hang on a sec. Let's, let me just, uh, I just want to check something here. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on a sec. Let me cruise out of here for a sec. Sorry. Uh, were we able to see, oh, hang on. Is there not a, um, Oh, okay. Well, sorry. So, so on my map, I, I thought, on my map, there was a very tiny treasure. You can hear that noise, right? If I just stop talking for a sec. Um, I thought, could you, like, see a light, a ring of light? Normally you can see, like, a, on the GameCube version, you could see a ring of light. But maybe it's, like, a, a gamepad-only thing on this game. I don't know. We'll find out later. But, yeah, this is how you dig up treasures. There'll be rings of light and treasures on your map. And, uh, wow, silver rupee. A whopping 100 rupees. Or was it 200? Um, okay. No, two, 100, I think. Okay. Um, right. Um, so, that is our first dungeon. Now we need to head to the south, which is this way. But I think we will do that next week. We will sail the oceans uh, to a square down in the south. And uh, next week we will do our next dungeon. Maybe we'll even do the stuff after that. Who knows? Um, but I think that will do for today. That is a nice place for us to uh, finish off today. Uh, so let's save our game 50 bajillion times, which you cannot see me doing because it's all on the gamepad screen. Um, but I would like to thank you all so, 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 so much for joining me on this first episode of this new adventure. I'm so happy to be playing The Wind Waker again. This has been really, really fun. Um, thank you for the love and support. It was really brilliant throughout the week. Um, seeing all of your excitement for this stream i hope this was a really fun first one and that you enjoyed it i hope you enjoy the rest of them um, i'm really happy to be playing a zelda game because i really do love this franchise again for 20 years now over 20 years uh this franchise has been sort of in my heart and a big part of uh my life uh in one way or another um you know well various points throughout my life with the various games um whoa we got a five dollar super chat from shebo tooth Thank you so much. Shibber2 says, much love, Bo. You're amazing. That's so kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so that is... Um, that is every... Sorry, again. So I get, sorry if the stream looks laggy. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, thank you. 
Thank you for being a wonderful audience. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope we enjoy the rest of the series as we progress forward. Um, but I think we've made some good progress for today. Um, so thank you all. So, 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 wait, hang on, hang on. Are there two? Oh, whoa. So I could see like another uh, super, super, super chat. We've got a super chat from Shibertooth. And then though, we also have, hang on, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? And then we've got Danny. Thank you so much, Danny. Last minute, hee <laughs> hee. Uh, Five dollar super chat as well. So, whoa, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, this has been really wonderful. Again, thank you so much. Um, I'm so happy to be playing this game. Let's close the software um, and go back to our menu. But thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Um, I will see you next Saturday. We will be next Saturday, so that's July 29th, 11 a.m. Pacific time. That's Los Angeles, California time. It's the same time we always do. Um, and please make sure to hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't hit that like button, that thumbs up yet, please, please, please do this last chance. Well, I mean, or if you're watching this on the replay, do it if you're watching the replay as well. Um, and um, and it just it really helps out. These first episodes are always so important. And this was a really fun one. And I, I hoped to do... Uh, more of this game and you know and, and just have a lot of you guys enjoy it as well um, and it's always nice to get some first timers thank you to the first timers thank you to the mods for being awesome uh, Zander, Archie, Kramen um, I forgot to say I like Kramen and I hope you like Kramen too hmm. um, so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank uh, you I am terrible at goodbyes I always draw them out make them very very long um, take care everyone have a good weekend I'll see you next Saturday same time same place uh, for more Wind Waker, we'll get another dungeon or so done. It should be good. Lots of fun stuff ahead. Um, I'm really excited, but thank you for making this first episode special. I hope it lived up to the excitement that I saw uh, leading up to this week, and I'm really happy to be doing this. Oh, and then final thank you to Jade Dennis, who not only uh, like sold me this Wii U almost a year ago, like literally, I think in like five days was a year since Jade and I met up to do this exchange. Um, but, um, but in addition to... Uh, you know, yeah, so I, I just wanted a Wii U to get virtual console games on. Um, as you can see from the menu here, I got a load of old games on it that I was, you know, I didn't want to pay like Nintendo Switch subscriptions to uh, have access to. Um, and, um, and Jade threw in this copy of Wind Waker, so I'm very grateful to Jade for that. Uh, so thank you, Jade. And uh, yeah, take care, everyone. Have a good one. And bye bye. Thanks again. Bye, I'm terrible at goodbyes. Wait, hang on, I almost turned the Wii U off. I need to turn the stream off. That's what I need to do. Um, bye, everyone. Thank you so, so much.